Dave. <laughs> uh, Hello. Just fucking thrown off. Oh, man. We just got mentally assaulted. Yeah. A lot Rick. to take in. What the? God, fuck? I'm rattled. Can we start again? Well, oh, do you want to be Clive again? Uh, no, I don't want to be Clive. <laughs> uh, not one bit. Um. Yeah, Ooh. no, no song. We got, we got befuddled. <laughs> TJ, TJ got us, got us, got in our brain space. What the hell? It's uh, Tom and Ben. <laughs> Tom and Ben, it's time to get ready for Tom and Ben. How about that? Is that a song? That's that's a great song. Uh, very, very into it. Mm. Um, how you doing? Okay, all right. How you doing? I'm all right. I'm all right. A bit, bit busy. It's been a busy time. As always. So busy. There's a lot going on, but um, I'm here now. I'm doing what, it. What has been going on? Um, i done Warhammer painting. What? Little bit, I did a little bit. Did this much. What? We can we can main screen activate. We can show you my Warhammer paintings, Tom. Show I painted me an assault squad. Very cool. For my heresy army that I'm basically just using as a 40k army now. <laughs> because uh, that's more fun. Whoa, that's loud. Whoa. Can I? Your captain is doing his best Ferris Manus impression. He really is. Yeah, so I've p I, I painted up the whole squad and then I went into my bits box and realized all my other sergeants have got those like winged helmets mm -hmm. and I'd, ru I'd run out. There was one left and it had the wing snapped off and I was like, fucking oh. hell. So I ordered a new one and um, just got impatient waiting for it to turn up. So I did the whole squad without the head. But after I finished the squad and took the photos, um, also, I found some little tiny writing transfers. Those look ace. Which look real cool, don't they? I'm pretty happy with those. Um, and also, I 3D printed these bolt pistols and chainsaws because fuck paying whatever it is, £15 for five. Oh, yeah, geez. Right? Like, yeah, they look fucking great. Like, I wouldn't have been able to guess that those were not... Not legit. Not a thing. Yeah, they, they literally look identical. Um, I also found someone on, it, on eBay who did these, like, Printed Dark Angel shoulder pads. Oh, jeez. Like Cost so three pounds. Three pounds oh, for what? ten of them. Three pounds each. <laughs> no, for ten. Wait. No, that doesn't make sense. That's not how much Games Workshop charges. It's not, is it? Why are those. Why are they. Are they faulty? Are they, they have bolt, asbestos? Are in. they broken? <laughs> What's yeah. wrong with them? Why are they not charging very much? Yeah. It's, I, they, maybe they want me to join their cult. Oh, uh, okay. Mm. Anyway, yeah. Cheap shoulder pads. Cheap pistols. Now's the time. Um, and I just had to put a million transfers on them all because... Transfers look great. Otherwise, Dark Angels look real boring without, without a million transfers. Um, oh, there we go. He's got his head. Nice. Oh, yeah, he looks ace. I'll do. What does his sword say? Wrath of Wrath Caliban. Caliban. Wow. He's holding it upside down, though, to confuse people. They're going to be like, hang on, what? And oh, he's yeah, like, chop! Like, it the other way. <laughs> Made you look, dickheads. Uh, yeah. Very I'm, pretty. I'm quite Very happy lovely with him. boys. Um, and got some more photos. Also, I went a bit psychotic and um, magnetized all their backpacks so I can take the backpacks off and give them jump packs. Uh, which I love. Super cool. It's kind of fun because I didn't really want to paint a whole other assault squad. So now like, they can go in a rhino or they can be bouncy boys. Sweet. What are you most excited to run them as? Um, I don't know, actually. I haven't even considered it at all. Oh. I was thinking next time we play, I'd run them as Chaos Marines. Just Ooh. to like, change things. Up. Oh, now the fucking uh, Oath of Moment has been <laughs> fucking nerfed. Well, I don't want to play this force anymore because it doesn't have a really cool ability. I mean, to be, f to be fair, that cool ability wah, is wah, still wah. true until the Codex comes out, which is in like a month's time. Whoa. So I should be like squeezing in all the full Oath games. What? Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, okay. No, I've, just, I've played three games with that army, Tom. It's clearly like bo old and boring now. I'm going to mix it up. That's true. Um... Um, so yeah, I, th I quite like this sort of style. Like, and again, I got it 3D printed. It cost like six quid for ten of them. Holy fuck, so um, fucking good. And I quite like it because it's like the um, the Raptors jetpack, but without all the chaos shit all over it. Um, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, they look just like the uh, the Raptor Raptor things. I think they're pretty cool. And then I added them to my like. Apparently, I've just been painting shitloads of sergeants recently because the new 40k rules are 
take all the thunder hammers and power fists you like. And none of my squads had sergeants in before. So I've just quickly gone, okay, well, fuck, here's a thunder hammer, here's a, here's a power fist. <laughs> like, just yeah. to bulk out my One squads. Of each. Just um. A bit of everything, because they'll keep changing the rules and making them all the best or worst as we go along. So just having just whatever's just fucking coolest. Yeah, two uh, power fists, a plasma pistol, if one's got a combi weapon, one's got a power sword, like, it's a bit of everything. No matter what happens, I've got a, got some fun, cool guys. Everyone can run them as their own squad of like chosen winged uh, boys. Yeah, I think they look fucking rad as a, like, just chosen, just kill, kill squad. They're super cool. I'm going to do one with lightning claws. See anything I haven't got. Oh, yeah, you got to now. Definitely. If you had a power fist, would you point with your pointing finger or would you point with your power fist? I feel like it's a bit more threatening to point with your power fist. It'd be like if I've got a gun yeah. and I'm like, this Ben guy's all right. <laughs> He's not a bad guy. I guess it depends what you're pointing at, right? You'd be a bit like, can you like, can you not? Yeah. It's just making me really uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, especially if there's the person with the power fist. <laughs> yeah. Over here! Uh, yeah, I think, uh, you know, maybe, um, maybe not. But if it's the enemy, definitely point at them with it. Yeah. So I guess he's just telling him where the toilet is, right? Oh yeah, the toilet's that way. <laughs> so we're uh, gonna be a bit more chill about it. <laughs> um, yeah, a bit more, a bit more relaxing. Oh, there we go. So I'm gonna do more of this kind of thing. I found, um, I went through my bits box and found a bunch of like Grey Knight parts. Ooh. And a lot of them are like two-handing their their weapons. Oh snap! So if I do a couple more, I might use more of these. I've got to like trim the storm bolter off, which is why it's got a big purity seal on the wrist. Oh, fuck. where the, where like the scraped I've, off storm bolter goes. <laughs> I wouldn't have even known. Um, yeah, like works just super, super well. Um, yeah, is that all my boys? I think so. I'm gonna get some more of these loincloths as well, because this guy, like, I ran out of loincloths, so I had to, like, get him. I, just, I can't remember what I, ch I chopped that off a Terminator, I think. Uh, but surely that you can get those as bits 3D printed as well, somewhere. Yeah, I'll find uh, some. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. That's all my Warhammies. Super duper cool. Nearly done, I think. I've basically got a bit of everything now. Finished those Devastators last month. Did the Assault Squads this week. Ooh, what's left to do? I guess another squad of Stern Guard, because they're the fucking best. If, uh, if I was going to power game it. Definitely. Always chase the, the best the best meta thing. <laughs> uh, that's the that's the rule. That's how I like to live my life. Oh, well, of course. Uh, and... I'll probably leave it at that, to be honest. Well, I guess I'll finish Lionel Johnson. I've been putting him off. I've been doing everything else. Oh, shit. But yeah, once yeah, like, you've got, got him done. Um, wait, uh, you haven't finished your um, uh, ATV. Oh. Remember? You haven't finished oh, that, Ben. No, you haven't right. finished that. I forgot about that. Yeah, you need to finish that guy. Oh, yeah. Don't forget. Right. That was I, from. I don't really the, have any like bikes and stuff in my army. I'm, well, it's a great start. It's a great jumping off point. Mm. Okay, maybe when the Marine Codex is out and there's the rules for like the White Scars type biker force, maybe I'll then go get a bunch of bikes to go with the ATV mm. and just really hide it in a mass of bikes. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe you don't even realize it's there. There's uh, so many bikes. Ravenwing. That's Dark Angels. That is Dark Angels. Like and the they love the ATVs. I imagine they wreck on Well, they the have to now because they've stopped selling and removed from the Codex regular bikers, scout bikers, attack bikers, land speeders, land speeder storms, all that shit in the bin. It's all legends now. Good. So the only thing that's left is Primaris Outriders and ATVs <laughs> and those new chonky land speeders, I guess. Yeah, okay, perfect. Can't wait to start my new Ravenwing army. You love Ravenwing. Well, I did. Probably. Well, they're all right. But fucking hell, I don't like any of those new ones. <laughs> think of all the ATVs you can do. Can you take them in squads of like three? I don't know. You might be able to have them join Outriders squads. I can't remember. It's almost like I haven't even looked at their rules. <laughs> I because, bet they're the best. Because I only look at what I did was, you know, I've got that big pile of Marine Index cards. I bought yeah. the Giga pack. I went through and I pulled out all the units I think are cool. And then I just shoved all the others. <laughs> to so wait, side. you were just left with the ATV. <laughs> yes. And um, um, Centurions. The Centurions. <laughs> and the, uh, yeah, the, the 
um, scout exosuit walker. Nice. Oh, they, I like all of those things. <laughs> I'm into all three of those. They're pretty fucking rare. Oh, so yeah. In response to your chase the meta, <laughs> literally 80% of those marine data sheets are in the bottom of my drawer, and only the ones I think look cool <laughs> are out. And you know, sometimes the wheel turns. Sometimes the things I think are cool are really good. Sometimes they're real shit. Yeah. And I don't. I'm not in charge of that. Yeah. That's. Uh, at least why it's good to have like, you know, an army or two, uh, that you can uh, play because sometimes this one is going to get hit by the mega ban hammer. And yeah, we actually have a thousand point Eldar army in a box that I've had there for like, I don't know, five years, something like that. Where I've painted one squad and then the rest is, is in a box. And um, I have to admit, Eldar being so OP has made me just put that box to the bottom of my cupboard. <laughs> I've got no interest yeah, in pulling out and finishing that. Just don't want to do it. Um, <laughs> it's less, way less fun. Yeah, it's way less exciting. Doesn't Lewis have like three Wraith Knights? He's got a big Wraith, like Wraith Guard, Wraith Lord army. I think he has one Wraith Knight. Because it's like an all wraith army. Yeah, he's got a lot of those. The big, the he's, big. He's ones. got like eight wraith lords, I think, and like twenty wraith guard, I think, something like that. That's a lot of wraiths. He did them all in um, that color changing paint. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. What a meta chaser! Wow, yeah. I mean, he he spent five years building and painting that army <laughs> yeah. just for this moment. For this, he knew it was coming. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, well, yeah, do you want to see what's new in Warhammer? What's new in Warhammer, yes. Let's see that. Uh, on, let's go. Have we got, like, ad block installed? Because, of like, Bell of Lost Souls is just a nightmare, isn't it? There's a lot of ads. I've forgotten which account we've done for that. Uh, what is new in Warhammer? Uh, I've man, I've not um, even checked Warhammer community for. Uh... No, since those big Space Marine reveals, there hasn't been a lot going on. Um, how far back are we looking? We because we limp, we weren't here last week. I had I had dad work to do. Uh... How far? Oh, they did a big points change. Oh, and this Death Watch army looks pretty cool. Show me. Um, Show me. What else is going on? Uh, we'll, we'll look at the previews because sometimes there's dice in there. Ooh. And I like dice. Oh, I do want to. That'll come up. Um, we'll talk about Epic in a sec. Not specifically that article, but that's to remind me that I heard something about Epic. Oh, Lord Croak. Let's have a look at him. Lord Croak. Uh, there's New Orcs. Oh, Weather Workshop and Games Workshop. Yeah, it's, you know how Games Workshop sometimes just, like, announces nothing? Mm. It's one of those classic nothing announcements. Uh, We're going to do a thing maybe one day. Right. Um, you know, like that Henry Cavill TV show. Yeah. The Old World. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um... Oh, wow. Are you, are you up to date on your Dawnbringer Chronicles? I read one of the things. I actually did read one of the articles. Oh, wow. Um, and was like, eh. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Uh, so, big points changes. We won't go into super detail on this because we're not big rules nerds. Um, but basically... Four or five armies had everything go up in price by 10%, and every other army had everything drop down in price by about 10%. Mm. It's like a massive overhaul of points to the point where now, like, Death Guard are the cheapest Space Marines you can get. Uh, which seems wild. Which is bizarre, isn't it? 10 Death Guard are cheaper than 10 Tactical Marines. <laughs> because they're such a shit faction. <laughs> just, the, uh, well, the, just the army rules are bad. Yeah, everything about they've got like no synergy. Their army faction rule is bad. But not only did they make them all cheaper, but they also improved the army faction rule. So, um, it does feel weird, doesn't it, though, to have them be the horde space marines. 
Yeah, because before they were always like pretty elite versions of Space Marines. Yeah, they were like super tanky. Um, she. They also um they did their classic thing where they fixed one problem, you know, like patching a leak, big leak coming through, patch. Let's fix mortal wounds. Oh, I hate this. And hate then so five other micro leaks sprung up under the new water pressure of the big leak getting <laughs> like slapped. Yeah, the devastating wounds no longer cause mortal wounds. Now they do. Now they just ignore saves. They're just a new different thing. They're a bit like a mortal wound, but they're not a mortal wound. So any other special rule that interacts with mortal wounds now doesn't affect devastating wounds. Yeah. So they did it to stop Eldar Mega Cannons from freeming whole squads, mm -hmm. which was a problem. But in fixing that, they've now made it so that like Adeptus Custodes just get riddled by Stern Guard because they have a special thing where they ignore half of their mortal wounds. Yeah, yeah, they get a four-up save against a four-up feel no pain against mortal wounds. Yeah, but now devastating wound guns don't cause mortal wounds anymore. They do their own weird thing. So they just shred through that. So yeah, now that Custodes magic power basically only applies to grenades <laughs> and being run over by a tank. Okay, yeah. Nothing else. Basically nothing else. Because so many things that did mortal wounds before, they just changed it over to do devastating wounds. Yeah. It's just like, what? think about what you're doing. Like, it's so, uh, it's like so uh, bad. If you're going to go in and change a fundamental game rule, you have to consider how that affects everything else in the just game. Just the knock-on effects of it. Just and I oh. feel like this thing is not super complicated to even consider. No, it's the first thing I thought was, well, what about things like chaplains and custodies and all the other things that interact with mortal wounds? But like with them already starting out with these weird band-aids mm -hmm. that they didn't just fix mortal wounds as a whole mm -hmm. uh, or like how that interacts or just said devastating wounds that they can never overspill onto something else. Yeah. Instead uh, of directly fixing the problem, it's they created a new layer of rules a, on top. Right, we patch this, but oh no, that makes us a leak over there. Right, well, we'll patch that, but that then causes other problems. It's such horrible game design. Yep, I um, hate it. That it's already begun. Yeah, and the first codex isn't fucking out yet. Uh, and we've already got layers of complicated rules stacking on top of each other. Just makes me think in like six months' time when they do another patch, a year's time, the game is going to be so convolutedly messy with all of these yeah. sub rules, these minor deviations, like mm -hmm. exceptions to rules. Like, ugh. Yeah. Yuck. Simplified, but not simple. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that was frustrating. But, on the other, I mean, give them some credit where credit's due. They have it seems like really hit the armies that were overpowered with points nerfs and buffed the armies that were underpowered with points buffs. So at least they are trying and some of it's working. Yeah, holy shit. Like, you know, absolutely love that there is uh, more regular points updates. And, mm -hmm. you know, it was generally quite, like, excited to be like, ooh, I want to see where the points go. Mm -hmm. uh, like, uh, like I've been building, building and playing some Necrons recently and... They just like, oh, those things went up a bit. These things went down a bit. In the wash, my army came out like 20 points more expensive. I was like, cool. sure, well, I'll just move move some things around and uh, yeah. totally fine. My army actually went down by more than yours, which I was really surprised by. Um, yeah. That last battle we had, my army came in 100 points cheaper. Yeah, which is crazy. Because <laughs> it felt fucking OP at the time. So much better. Uh, <laughs> But, you know, I don't think they factor in the points value of being ran by Ben and the <laughs> points value of being run by Tom. Yeah, you get like a 20% like modifier. Yeah, a bit like in like Battlefleet Gothic. You had to buy the different like, oh, leadership you value. Yeah. For, uh, like an admiral, it cost more than having like a captain. Yeah, it was like 250 points or something mm. for like a leadership 10 dude. Whereas if you're like, ah, fuck it, I'll just... Roll that random leadership <laughs> and oh, yeah. that leadership seven. My guys aren't super good. Yeah. Um, I think is uh, totally fine. There we go. Start to have a little rant there. Um, uh, but yeah, geez, like, you know, I don't really ever want to complain about the points too much because it's not like 
we're, well, we're really playing we're not playing tournament at level edge or at even meta lists or no. anything like that. So we can't really comment on what's what's worth points and what isn't. Yeah. I got no idea. I've not played against a super honed tournament list. Um, and I think because we're both going in like a little fluffier on our, our lists, mm. it kind of all balances out pretty well. I think if every time they do a balance pass, if your army comes out cheaper than your opponents, you win a cool boy point because you were taking shitter stuff than they were. <laughs> wow. You, know I mean? you get to be like... Okay. You know. Okay, that... Right. Because, yeah, there's a couple of units that, like, just look fucking dog shit overcosted. <laughs> yeah. And everyone's saying, like, they, sh they these have to drop in points because they're fucking worthless. So you could meta it. You could build, like, the trashiest list possible, knowing that when the next points thing comes around, you'll be like, wow, I smashed you on the cool boy points. <laughs> uh, but what happens if it's not as tangible as that? What if they just give those units, like, big buffs, oh. but keep on the same points? Yeah, well, it feels like they're stepping away from that because they don't want too many bandage layer patches yeah, of God, rules, yeah. right? Yeah, sure they don't. <laughs> That's what they're saying. They definitely don't want that. <laughs> Did you see, actually, in that balance pass, um, they corrected all the points values for the Tyranid Codex, which hadn't come out yet. The week before it was released. <laughs> nice. Although, um, uh, I th I think at least they had there's something in the Tyranid Codex maybe that says like mm. check online for the correct points. That yeah, there's a QR code at the bottom that says if you want real points, go yeah. Here. <laughs> which I don't I don't hate as much now, mm. especially as they're doing like these far more regular points updates. Um, mm. I think is. You know, it's kind of just, you just gotta, gotta live with it. The, it takes six months for these books to come out. Mm. Um, and they probably write them a year in advance or whatever it is. Yeah. Um, and so I think they're hoping that those points are good, but yeah, realize that they're not going to. It is weird how they, how they can adjust the points for an army that isn't even out yet because they have no data on it. They only know how it's been, how the index rules have been going. And so when you add in a whole bunch of new extra special rules, you got fucking no idea. Why are you adjusting those points? Yeah. No one's even used them yet. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, well. Uh, what's going on? Oh, yeah, this was a really fucking nice Death Watch army. Every single model in this army has been, like, heavily customized and converted. Nice. Um, Death Watch is a great army to do that with. Yeah, because each one's like a hero from a different chapter, right? Yeah. Um, so these guys are fairly standard. They've just got some different heads and stuff. But as we go like deeper in... Um, is everyone from a different Space Marine chapter as well? I hope so. That would be, that would be fucking rare. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? But I'm going to guess not. I bet there's like... You know, there must be... Especially like some... With the shoulder pads that you get in the boxes... You're gonna get like a lot of the the big chapters that everyone. Knows okay, about, sure. Right? But yeah, you know, he's gone to the detail of putting on extra purity seals, extra little books, and all that kind of jazz, which I love. Um, and just the more you get into the army, the bigger it gets. Look like the Iron Hand guy has got like a mechadent, right? Servo arms and stuff. Um, like it's got some kind of like funky grenade launcher combi weapon. I love that. Um, White Scar's got like a curved. Chainsaw, do you know what I mean? Like it's these little touches that like Yeah, like there's like so much love has gone into it. Um like this tank. Like, oh, that's just amazing. Covered in shit, which is amazing. Why is he choosing to shoot with the pistol and not just like <laughs> just heavy stuff of them? Bah, 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 bah. Uh, just light them up. So he's a hero. Okay, sure. Um yeah, got some dreads covered in like skulls and stuff. Um, oh, oh they've marine. made the bolt bolt gun pulse rifle, mm -hmm. uh, which was in the uh, the like Lieber Zenonica or whatever the fuck it was called. Ah. It's like a th um, where it talks about like you know the more radical Death Watch. Oh, okay, using they, like Xenos weapons. They use Xenos weapons, but like merged with Imperial weapons. Ah, um, and okay. the, like, it's like half bolt gun, half 
pulse rifle and it looks really fucking cool with like really like jury rigged cables going all over it and like a different style of sight and like really oh, like that man. idea for death watch to be like actually pulse rifles pretty, pretty fucking good legit. yeah i've been or, seen enough of my brothers killed by these things to respect them and like you know these are the guys who are like super studying the death watch uh it's like super studying mm. aliens and so they get way more familiar with like weapons yeah. and tactics okay Great. that's pretty cool so yeah i mean this is just a cool squad isn't it each one's got like their own character you know you got the tech guy you got like the um the sniper guy the weird xenos weapon guy it's nice and then we've got this guy's like got half a Necron crawling up of him. Nice. This guy doing a reload. Trophy rack guy. Yeah, holy shit. Like, I'd love to do a, a Death Watch Force mm. in this sort of style. Like, I don't want to build that many models, but building like. Mm. We could do like a kill 15. team. We could do like six, seven guys in kill yeah. team, each with their own like loadout and a character, right? Yeah, it would be really cool. Like, a really fun way just to like super play it up. Yeah, I just I thought this was awesome. Like this guy's got some kind of Tau fusion gun that's Love been it. like repurposed as a as a marine thing. Super rad. I like the studded helmet. You don't see those very often. I hope there's a wounded one, and that's the Lamenter. <laughs> yeah, that would be cool. See, I don't even know what everything is meant to be. I guess they're all different characters. I don't know what all the options are, but um. I heard, um, you know, this like apothecary guy. Yeah. He's um, he doesn't do healing. He, the new one, he does like some kind of like debuff on the enemy when he collects. Yeah, the he samples. sees their DNA and then it's like, shoot them in the dick. <laughs> Pretty sure they're weak in the dick. <laughs> I've heard people calling him the harmacist. Harmacist. I like that. That makes sense. Well, that was a good one. Yeah. Shout out to this this guy who's just made just the coolest army yeah absolutely fucking beautiful army and he's done like so much of it like basically every character or troop and equipment loadout you can think of just doesn't stop yeah like very impressed oh, i like this guy with the big the big helmet and the melter cannon it's cool We've got some snipers. That guy's got a crew rifle. Super cool. Uh, yeah, holy shit. Like, it's just a fucking fantastic army. Yeah. Very impressive. Though not to end on, like, a downer, but it feels like this maybe was the first squad that he did. They are so... Yeah, the highlights aren't as crisp as all the other units, are they? And they're not as heavily converted, either. Not as exciting. I don't think you should have ended on these no. guys. No. Maybe just just, <laughs> just stop one, one level first. Like, they still are painted beautifully and, uh, you know, really nice, really fun, mm. characterful conversions, but it's not, as not as much as the other ones. Hmm. But yeah, they look great. I like the Death Watch. I don't think I'd want to play them because they seem pretty rules heavy. Yeah. They seem pretty good. Apparently they're one of the best Space Marine chapters at the moment. Really? But, you know, Codex will come out soon and everything changes then. Mm. Um, so yeah. Have Tom and Ben ever considered playing Chaos Gate? I did. I completed it on my own streams. Twitch.tv slash Bedgers. Um, I was thinking about going back to it once the DLC's out, and it's been long enough for me to forget exactly what happened. And Is that like the Assassin DLC? Mm -hmm. There's a Dreadnought as well now. Ooh. That's cool. Dreadnoughts. Yeah, we'll go back to it at some point. Uh, boop. Oh, yeah. More Dawnbringers, more trolls. I like the trolls. Trolls are fun. This guy's fun. He's got little squig friends. He's got a, he's got a little squig, flying squigs. Oh, bright yellow dice, Tom. They're pretty nice. I like them. They're very visible. They're very goblin-y. If the pips were like scrawled or scratches or something. Oh, like, it would actually be pretty fucking exciting. Looked like it was drawn by a goblin. Yeah. That would be perfection. But they've... Some of the better dice we've seen recently. Like I, I feel like I'd prefer them if they were black with yellow 
highlights, but okay. I still quite like them. Very legible, very nice. Mm. Pretty good. Big pig. I really like this model. I think it's pretty fucking good. Yeah, I like Big Pig. Pretty cool. Just looks fucking ace. Oh, you don't have to build him with the sidecars. Oh, that's good. A hacking crew. Yeah, they're kind of wacky. <laughs> bit, bit much for me. Uh, he's a guy. He's a guy, and he's got friends. Nice. Pretty cool. And the Naked Boys, we saw these a couple of weeks ago, didn't we? Ooh, how expensive those Naked Boys. Oh, yeah, I bet they are not cheap. Three guys for £24.50? Nah, 36 Surely. Surely you just. I don't think they're on pre-order yet. Uh, uh, it's just rules. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand Age of Sigmar rules. So, so I think it was this. Mm -hmm. uh, oh shit, they actually just put their rules out as a free thing instead of a new tiny thin book where the hardback's thicker than the, the, rule, the book that's itself. Uh, yeah, so this is like a free codex update. Mm. And heard people saying, so there's like a load of stuff all about the faction, all of uh, about the, the pigs, mm -hmm. um, a bunch of stuff explaining what they do, lore and stories. Oh, great. And apparently in this free supplement, there yeah. is more lore on this pig than uh, new lore in the entirety of the new Tyranid book. What? That there's people saying there's something like five pages of lore about that pig, and there is like two and a half pages of lore in the new Tyranid Codex. What? But there's like six new Tyranid units that we don't know anything about. Mm. But you want to know about a pig? <laughs> I mean, uh, that, I don't mind there being lots of pig law. I'm more concerned that there's zero fucking Tyranid law. They've got all those new brain bugs. They've got the Norn things. They've got the leapers and the... Yeah, each of them get like... Uh, like a paragraph. Yeah, like a, um, at the side of their entry in the book, they get one paragraph in like the... Uh, Why? The border. But like, I feel like I could write up like a half decent page on each in an afternoon. Just being like... The Death Reaper hunts down the enemies with precision. It stalks through the jungles and blah, blah. Do you know what I mean? That, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what you want. Uh, have a little story told from some fucking catachans. Uh, like, yeah. just a little paragraph of them hunting down a thing. Oh, yeah. fuck. It's the new... Then the hunters become the hunted. Great. Give me one of those They're hunting stories. down a nest of hormigant eggs, and then it turns out it was bait, and then the... The Death Leaper comes in and rips the and kernel they, apart. They find out too late. Yeah, uh, and then it's like Predator. Yeah. But, no. It's apparently me. just... That is so minimal effort. No, like, no new law at all for the stuff, whereas... Pig. Uh, Pig gets law. Well, I'm not going to hate on Pig for getting law. No, not at all. Pig, Pig cool. I um, just want the same for everyone. Uh, and I guess, like, you know, Age of Sigma, you could be a little more loosey-goosey and just tell some fucking, tell some stuff. Yeah, you're right. 40k is, like, such a small universe, you can hardly fit anything into it. It's, it's so narrow. <laughs> There's no space. Uh, it's all been, it's all been done before. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, Pig. Cool, cool boy. Cool but, boy. Uh, well, I'm, I'm really impressed they've done a free supplement and not charged, you know, £30 for 12 pages bound in... Yeah, pack that's thicker than the book. Yeah, oh geez, exactly. Because um, they have done that before. Yeah, they have. Uh, so yeah, um, sad, sad if you love uh, Tyranids. Yeah, Happy nice. if you love pigs. I do like pigs. Um, so, oh yeah, this was to remind me about Epic. So I, do you remember we talked about Elf, apparently yeah. Epic got pushed back because they had to reprint all Elf. all the books. Uh, yes. I heard rumors. So this is just, maybe just lies people told on the internet. Uh-oh. Might people not be true. lie on the internet. Apparently there was like a little, you know, sometimes you get those little like three paragraph stories in the side of a rule book where it's like, just sit, like gives you a bit of like feel and theme and sure. thing. Apparently one of those referenced a, an inappropriate German language book um, that was not caught. 
until after books went out to people. And so they were recalled and reprinted without said uh, inappropriate quotes from German literature. What? <laughs> okay, I know, like, I remember you saying that, like, oh, it had referenced something political. Yeah, that's the. I mean, this could just be people making up stuff on the internet because that's everyone's favorite thing to make up on the internet, isn't it? Yeah. That always gets you big internet points and lets you win every internet debate, I'm pretty sure. Oh, shit. So, um, what? That people were quoting the Nazis. Is that what you're saying? Um, it feels like one of the only things that would make GW do a complete recall, reprint, and it's pushed back this. This was going to come out now. It's going to be out like end of August, beginning of September. They've now moved it to Old World's release window of December. And okay. Old World has now been pushed back into spring. Wow. Which is a, seems like a lot of logistical nightmares that you wouldn't do lightly. That's the only thing that makes me think this may be true. I, if it wasn't for that, if it wasn't for the delays and the knock-on effects, I'd be like, this is just, you know, internet nonsense. And it still well could be. It could be completely made up. Yeah, I think I want... Take like it with some... a big grain of salt. Uh, I think I'm going to take it all with a big old pinch of salt because there could be just anything fucking going on. It could be literally um, anything, couldn't it? Like, but I can't remember the last time they did a big... Product recall, reprint delay. But have they officially of said that they had to recall it all for print problems? They haven't said anything, but they did say it was going to be out um, at the end of the summer. And then they've said, "Oops, it's been delayed." Oopsie poopsie. <laughs> someone, <laughs> someone done a bad Hitler. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, okay. Hmm. Who knows? But I've I've seen some real, you know, shonky stuff that probably should have been reprinted. Yeah, geez, <laughs> it's not like you know a couple of mistakes has uh, held them back before. Oh, but yeah. uh, I just that made me laugh and cry wow. when I heard it. So I thought I'd share the made up story I heard, and you can decide if it's made up or not. Who Ooh. knows? Real life law hammer. We'll never know the truth. Jeez, someone. Must have gotten fired, right? You'd think so. Unless it was like an honest mistake where they just... Because, you know, the Imperium's got fascist undertones. Yeah. Someone might have read a quote, not known where it came from, and thought, that sounds like something... Uh, a lazy search. Top 10 fascist <laughs> quotes. <laughs> yeah. Well, this one sounds pretty fucking horrible. Oh, yeah. Uh, Winston could definitely say that. <laughs> beep, boop, 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 boop. That's what there I feel like could have happened. <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> not, not actually known where that came from. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Who knows? Um... Oops. Mm -hmm. But then, could this be made up? Might not have happened at all. Yeah. But it does mean Epic's being delayed, boo, and Old World is being delayed. I don't know if that's a boo or a yay or a just a complete indifference from me on that one. Honestly, my excitement for both of these things has dropped off pretty heavily. Mm. And so, not massively. It's weird because I feel like we should be like the target audience. Warhammer Fantasy Battle and Epic are my two favorite Games Workshop games that I've played the most of. Yeah. i really surprised that they've managed to somehow make me completely indifferent to both. Oh, no. Um, it's track record, Ben. It's because they have a fucking horrible track <laughs> record. And every other thing that we've loved that they've brought out, they've managed to fuck it up. <laughs> right. That, that's why. You're right. That's why the excitement is not as high as... <laughs> that's quite impressive uh, that they've managed to do that. No, nah, we're just being fucking mean now. But um, I think then, um, seeing as the rules for Epic are very close to Adeptus Titanicus, which is a game that I just didn't enjoy. Mm. Uh, Warhammer: The Old World, yeah, I, I am still hot for that. But I think there's a complete lack of new models. Yeah, and the, and the five year tease. The, it's that not super timely, and mm. if it comes when it comes out, we'll check it out. But it's not like it's the thing I'm most 
most hot for this mm. second. It, they could delay it another year, and I'd be like, sure. I'll, I will still be here when it comes out. I will out. be as excited as uh, I am and now. And I will still want to play it. <laughs> yeah. uh, if they release battle wagons, you mean war wagons? If Ooh. they bring war wagons back, I'm in, baby. Or if they bring battle wagons into Epic, which means they'll add orcs. Then I'm double. <laughs> yeah, 100%. That would definitely work. That would battle wagons would fix both. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, OPR made a lovely file for war wagons. Is there? It can't be as good as the original. No, because the original one has its goofy charm, which uh, would be hard to recapture. War wagon STL. Oh, okay, it's, that's pretty cool. It's pretty, pretty spot on. Everyone's a little bit, a little bit wacky. That is basically that, the original. This one's that much fancier. Fucking amazing. I like that. Does it have crew? Uh, maybe, maybe not. But you could like source some crew. Hmm. Oh man, how many war wagons can you fit into your thousand point army? Oh, like three, fifty. 50. Wow, they're just going to make everything cheaper, right? Oh, probably. That works. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen, like, a second edition 40k army compared to a ninth edition 40k army? Oh, jeez. Yeah, fuck me. When you'd have a unit of five Chaos Warriors. <laughs> Great, yeah, that's about 400 points. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, way fucking different. I was going scale. through some 90s White Dwarves um, that, I, that I picked up real cheap to see if, like, like me and my boy could like look through them and I could have like some nostalgia and see if he was interested. And um, yeah, we, we looked at a couple of battle reports and holy shit, those armies were tiny. Just so much smaller, yeah. Well, you know, you gotta sell, sell more models, right? You do gotta sell more models. Oh, look, there you go, they look pretty cool. It's pretty fun. Look. It looks very like it might fall over. <laughs> yeah, it does. So I don't know I if don't, that's necessarily a bad thing. I don't know if that man catch is going to catch any mans. It's real short. <laughs> no. That was always the problem with being the guy with the man catcher. <laughs> you ain't catching shit. <laughs> no, unless they're very tall. They've got to be so tall. <laughs> on the world's tallest horse. And then maybe you can grab them. Like, any of the, like the guy with the ball and chain is also not having a great day. But at least you can maybe dangle it and have it like a fishing rod more than anything. <laughs> yeah. Although I feel like you could just bolt it onto the side and, and it would be more effective. Would have the same, <laughs> if not better, effect. Yeah, yeah, you're 100% correct. Your job could be done by like just a simple bolt. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, uh, War Wagon. Very cool boy, even if stupid. One of our faves. Uh, okay. We already looked at Croak actually, didn't we? Because they mentioned Kremlo. Oh. oh no. no, I think that was in the Slan one. Because oh. the Broke one is different. Just. Did they not mention Kremlo? How could they? It came from space. Kremlo did come from space. I like Wing Wingbird. He's cool. Mm. Yeah. Thanks, Nick. There's old Croak, Croak model. Uh, he was I cool. like every Slan that's ever existed. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. And although floating chairs are cool, also being carried by Temple Guard is very cool. It is uh, super cool. I like to think that he just hasn't told them how to turn the chair on and he's asleep. So, Or they <laughs> don't know how to do it and they don't want to wake him up. <laughs> yeah. So like, fuck it, we'll just carry him. We'll just carry him. <laughs> he's, he's, it makes no difference. He's <laughs> asleep right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Slam, very cool. Croak. He's a good one off the slam. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, we already kind of seen this. It was just the, I just wanted to make sure I could get access to the article with the law. Ah, uh, nice. Okay. Um, I think they're actually, because this is old news, I think they are actually out now. Ooh, we could do a little prices right on. £38.50. You said 24 a minute ago. Oh, you mean for Big Pig? Yeah, Big Pig. No, for those, the three guys. Three naked guys. Yeah, 24 pounds. Okay, I'm going like 35. Surely not. And then Big Pig, you're saying 38, and I'll say. Oh, no, 45. No, 38. I'm going to stick with that. First guess. And I'll go for like 42. Uh, pre orders? 
Forty-seven fifty. We were both wrong. That's a lot of pig. <laughs> God, you can always win Prices Right Warhammer by just going higher than what you say. Just go, yeah. <laughs> Any amount higher. <laughs> Fuck. We're in the naked boys. Thirty-five pounds. Fucking hell. So well, that. Oh, they're like 11, 11 pounds 66 a model. Is that like a 40 mil base or a 50? It's got to be at least 40. Maybe it is a 50 mil and they're fucking big. Holy shit. You can get 10 of the, um, 10 of the clothed guys for the fucking same price as three of the naked boys. They're going to have to make those naked boys real strong. <laughs> They're on 40s. Wow. Fuck my balls. That's too much. Jeez. 85 quid for the half of the... The starter box, starter yeah. Box. Not even half. You don't get the little hobgoblins in there. Suddenly, actually, like, that thing, 90 quid, that actually seems like a pretty good deal. Compared to the three naked orcs. Because I would have thought that that model was going to be... 70 pounds mm. and I'm pretty sure those boxes of trolls must be 30 quid a pop hmm. wow ah oh, sweet and you can have his book that's definitely going to be relevant forever as well <laughs> that's good pulpin <laughs> next <laughs> that's year good. that's good pulpin um woof okay woof. sponsivo <laughs> Right, Weta Workshop. So this potentially is a very cool thing because Weta Workshop make amazing things. Yeah. What they're doing is they're partnering Warhammer and Weta Workshop to make one to six scale premium statues. That's cool. They pick some cool looking guys. Yeah. Might be really nice. But as, you know, it's GW, they have announced it so early they have nothing to announce. Right. I don't even know what they're doing or when it'll be out, how much it'll be. Okay. It's just something at some point. Cool. Uh, we've got a new Space Marine, Tom. It's been ages since we've had a new Space Marine. Wah. What about all those poor Space Marine players <laughs> that aren't getting their new models? Orcs just had a new pig <laughs> bed. <laughs> they did. And where was the Space Marine model? Well, that's ridiculous. Uh, there should be at least as many Space Marines as there are pigs. Exactly. <laughs> it just isn't the case. Uh, <sighs> sure. I like shoulder cape. Shoulder cape is cool. I don't know if I love the chest armor. Mm, it looks off-brand Space Marine. It does. This really looks off-brand Space Marine, where they are... They're trying to get as close to being a Space Marine while still being legally distinct. This was possible. designed by a team of artists and lawyers to get as physically <laughs> yeah. close without being the same. Yeah, like that's that's what the backpack and chest plate look like to me. But it's official. Okay. But he has a cool shoulder cape and cool. nice studs. He's fine. Red. Um, there you go. Uh, we've got new compu games. When's this one out? They've finally given us release dates. So the Age of Sigma one's on the 17th of November. Nice. And the Rogue Trader one, which I'm actually going to play. I'm excited for that. It's not out until the 7th of December, which means, you know, with Jingle Jam. I'll probably uh, play this until Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I have to, like, wait. Yeah. We'll see. Sad. Sad times. Mm. That looks like it could be cool. Dawnbringer Chronicles 8. It's here. The Pothead Boys. He's a troll. I don't know anything. I've not read a single thing about Dawnbringer Chronicles. Uh, Do you know anything? Can you enlighten us? I read the one with the the giants. Mm -hmm. And the giants attack the city. That was the story. Cool. That's what they do. That Sounds was it. like giants that was, that to me. Yeah, I don't know what all the other deals are. Probably something to do with Kremlo and Kragnos. Probably. 
Probably. Just that. Those guys are always in the thick well, of it. Well, you know, the wheel turns. Mm. One day Kremlo's on top. Next it's Kragnos. Yeah. Who can keep up? Um, are they still on Mudworld? I think so. Gehur. I don't know how you spell it. Um, boop. More pigus. They're really, really doing a lot of pigu articles. Really picking it up. Um, Pickbook is out. Trolls are out. Squig Boy's out. Yeah, we looked at all this a minute ago. We just saw these. I just did this. I really just wanted the dice. That's why this article's open. Oh, they're going back to selling 20 dice. Oh, these must have been delayed. <laughs> right. Yeah, <laughs> before they switched down to the 15 dice. Yeah. Or maybe because it's goblins. I don't know, but the packaging's like the old packaging. They yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, good, good for them. This week's pre orders, we got Big Tall Knights. Wow, I thought this guy was out. They previewed him like four months ago. Uh, okay. Because it got leaked by a guy on eBay. Right. And so it's been a while. To okay. Get out. Oh, cool. Like, but it's a cool knight. I prefer this one. Yeah. With the machine gun and the sword? Yeah, that guy's He's better. Brave. Well, his sword is a little too small for my It is. Taste. He can barely reach the ground. It needs yeah. to be a bit longer, doesn't it? Also, I don't love that it's like built into his hand. I don't know why. I'd rather he... Oh, yeah, hold it. Hold it in a hand than just have sword hand. Yeah. But it's a pretty minor crack. Uh, yeah, they look pretty cool. We got They're bringing back all these old terrain pieces for like... Oh, I always order. like those guys. This Bastion is like iconic for me. If I ever think of like a 40k bunker... Like that thing. That's that thing's great. Uh, fun. Uh, we've got the Wall of Martyrs. Which is cool. Okay, pretty neat. Yeah. Extra walls for extra nice. martyring. A couple of all, them, all them bodies in the wall. Wow. And the landing pad, which I don't love as much because it has no off ramp. Yeah. I always thought that was weird. Like, okay, we've landed. What now? Just need some stairs Let's or jump. something. Jump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, yeah, it's cool. Uh, but yeah, those those walls and that tower, pretty fucking rad. Yeah, it's classic. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Oh, and some. Uh, oh, breathe it. Are they objectives or? Yeah, so they just fancy bases, I think. Those are cool. Yeah, they're bases. Nice. Wait, who's the fucking Birdman skull? Oh, I don't know. Is it a Croot? No, Croot didn't have that beaky a beak, right? Oh, is it a fucking Zangor or something? Oh, yeah, probably. Who's that? That doesn't even look like an orc. I think it's meant to be an orc. It doesn't look like an orc. No. Maybe it's an Ogryn. Oh, that makes sense. Like a gene steer? Or is that a Tau? Oh, yeah, because it's got the slit. Oh, I don't know why they have the slit in their skull. I thought that was like a, like a flesh bit. That's their nose, right? You know how you have nose hole? Oh. Is, it, is that thing their nose? Don't they have nose holes lower down? Gotta no. Do they? Do they breathe through that? Do they have nose holes? Nose oh. hole or no? Okay, place your bets. Uh, I'm going to say yes, nose hole. I'm going to say no, nose hole? <laughs> I kind of thought that thing was their nose. <laughs> okay, I can't remember. Tau. Uh, Warhammer. Tau. Do they have a nose? <laughs> You just don't see many of their faces around, do you? Because they're all in the battle suits. Okay. Uh, let's do face. Because, here we go, look, there's one. <laughs> Wait, that guy. Uh... <laughs> 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 this looks like it's been made in Dark Souls. It but... does, doesn't it? That's just like a character creator <laughs> gone wrong. I mean, it might have been, literally. It's on Reddit, right? <laughs> oh. Ooh. Yeah, I hate the extra detail on the on the flap. Ugh, yeah, like <laughs> I'm. I guess that, yeah, you're right. No nose holes. Is it their nose? I don't fucking know. Is I it, kind of just assumed it was because it's. That's is it where, a male female thing? Because they yeah, the females have, have like what? the Y shape. Oh, I never noticed that before. Uh, well, I guess it's only fucking Shadow Sun. Was the only female model. Ah. There probably are others. There probably must be. Um, well, pff, I don't know. We're talking about Warhammer and a race that doesn't get model updates very often. That's true. So there's a real good chance that that's the only woman. 
God, that just seems like it would get... You'd have to clean it so often. Yeah, but I imagine they would look at a person and be like, those weird nose holes. But at least our nose holes aren't like tilted up so that all the wind and dust gets like blown into them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but maybe it's like secreting constantly. Oh, God. Is it hairy? Like the inside of a nose? Does it have like... No, but maybe it's like your eyes. You know... What moist? Do they blink their slit? Yeah. <laughs> Continuously remoistening. Yeah, 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 exactly. Wow, and then it just dribbles. Whenever the mucus builds up too much and it catches too much detritus, it all just oozes out. Oh, that's horrible. Or maybe like a little tongue comes out and like. <laughs> oh, and like God. Sucks back in. Could do. Who knows? Who knows? Oh. <laughs> Don't pick your slit in public. <laughs> oh, gross. Yeah, that's what you have to tell the little towel kids as they're there just, <laughs> just scraping it. Oh, mom, it's dribbling again. Oh, God, having to get a tissue. Or... <laughs> oh. uh... Yeah, do they sneeze out of it? Yeah. Do they breathe through it? Yeah. Yeah. Do they fiddle with it intimately? Okay, I have no further questions. <laughs> yes. Done. Yes, Done. do all of those. <laughs> uh. <sighs> okay. Okay, and then now I've got a little roller coaster ride of an article that made me first of all want to die inside, and then actually made me go, oh, okay. We'll have a day with a brand new miniature. Yeah, oh no, not this one. Oh, oh we closed it by accident. Oh. Uh, did we? Oh no, this one. Um, so they revealed that like, don't worry about your ammo feed on your new knight. It comes in one billion pieces, so you can pose it any way you like. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, that's horrendous. <laughs> How many of these are we going to see built without ammo feeds? Oh my god. Or real just janky shit What's fucking but hell. Then they showed how it actually fits together. You don't glue it, you clip it, uh. and it hangs loosely, but in like an interconnected way. Okay. So that when you glue your gun or mount your gun on the arm, you the pose of the arm and the model doesn't matter because you've got this like flexible. Okay. Well, that's feed. infinitely easier. So on one hand, it lets you actually pose it perfectly and not have to worry about perfectly gluing it into just the right angle so that yeah. everything looks natural. Because it will just fall into the natural angle sure. that it needs to be in, and it doesn't need gluing. But then would you go, once you've got it on, do you think you would go through and just put a little bit of bits of glue on it? I don't know. I'd worry about like getting like lumps and like like glue root residue. I think once you've sprayed it, that will probably seal it enough. I don't, it depends how how much flexibility I have. Yeah, how much wiggle mounted. room actually has. But. Ugh, that's a lot of pieces. That's a lot of bits. Hmm. I don't know if I want to build that. I mean, it's got to be better than heat gunning the resin. Yeah, thing. fucking hell. Right? Uh, I guess it gives you like the flexibility to have a bit of posing. Um, so yeah, mixed bag here. On one hand, quite a good design, like mechanically. But on the other hand, I guess you're not buying a £120 knight because you want to glue it together in five minutes, right? Yeah, for sure. Like, like this is uh, meant to be a, a big job. Take a, take a bunch of time on it. Mm. 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 Yeah, there you go. Wow. Cool. You can magnetize it. And look, the pistons on the legs are adjustable. Oh, so uh, that's it, really like, good. Leaning forwards or leaning any position you like. Because I thought they were going to do this with the Adeptus Titanicus models, but they didn't. Yeah, those are a lot more like like rigid with their posing. Mm. So this is a cool touch. <laughs> yeah, I, I really appreciate that. And um, they have shown off like some cool like poses you can do with them that you just this would have been a nightmare with the Forge World kit. Yeah, like that looks great. You've got all you can have them running, wow. and jumping, and like really dynamic, or you can just have them real boring. Like this is beautifully painted, but just the most boring pose imaginable. Yeah, still kind. 
has kind of got me like, oh, I kind of want to get one. I'll never use it and it costs a fortune and it'll take forever to paint. But they are really nice toys. Yeah, geez. Yeah, like real, real pretty. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah, I'm into it. Very cute. Um, it's amazing how much a difference posability makes to me wanting to build a model. Yeah, because suddenly you can add a bit of flair to it um, mm. and make it a bit more your own, not just follow the. Yeah, like you know, it's in the same static pose that everyone else has to uh, has to have. Mm. Uh, what's our new Warhammer Day miniature? It's what are these? Okay. It's a Votan captain? Question mark? Okay. It's all right. I don't love the... Um, oh, I like Metal Face. Design. Yeah, the helmet's cool. I don't know. I just I don't really love the design on this armor. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. Like, I'm not super into it. Um, so, yeah, Warhammer Day's coming up. I didn't know they were still doing that because they did Warhammer Fest. But it had replaced it. Oh. Apparently not. Hmm. Yeah, I would definitely put the helmet on mine. Or like if you've got one of the leftover like little robot domes. You know they're like little oh, robo yeah. robo friends. Oh, I'll make him a robo friend. Yeah, just fuck it. Have your general vehicle robo man. Oh yeah. That's definitely the way to do it. There we go. So I guess we'll get another bunch of big previews coming up soon. Uh cool. Okay. Warhammer Day. Warhammer Day. Uh, we've got a preview for new Codex Space Marines. Space Marines. They're making Earth of Moment not as good. Yeah. Less than half as good as it was before. Because now it's just rerolls to hit, not rerolls to wound, which is the much more important part of the mm. Yeah, because you're already generally always hitting on a 2 plus or a 3 plus. Yeah, where sometimes you're wounding on a 5 or a 6. Yeah. Um, so that obviously makes all Space Marine players a bit sad. Good. But don't worry, you can give up all of your um, all of your other rules to get it for one turn only. Yeah, it's kind of like the least fun way to do that. <laughs> it's not just when they announced they were going to do a first company task force. I was like, I fucking love Space Marine veterans. Most of my guys are done up as veterans. This will be a cool detachment to run, and it's just the most boring rule imaginable. It's the worst thing of what you already have. <laughs> yeah, it's like. Imagine for Christmas, your Christmas present, little Timmy. I know you were excited to get more Lego. What I've done is I've taken half your Lego away and I'm giving it back half of that half I'm giving back to you for Christmas. Like, oh. Happy Christmas. Thanks. I guess. <laughs> I don't really feel like it. it's hard to get excited. Yeah. <laughs> um. Tom Rennie is a born hater. Am I, am I hating on it? Or am I being honest? It's very hard to get excited about a a new rule that is just what your old rule was, but worse. Yeah. Yeah, if they had a whole new, different rule. Yeah, if it's just great. something different. And you couldn't uh, just immediately go, well, that's just obviously a worse version of what I already had. I think it's a fair thing to be skeptical on. Mm. So, Boo. I was hoping that would be a fun, a fun, cool veteran thing, but it's not. Um, and then more apathy than hate. I feel like that's Ooh, a lot. It's yeah. talking about space marines, uh, which is not the thing I'm the most hot for anyway. It's an earth. Why would you think of it as a gift? Because it's the new codex. Like when they said new codex coming out, instead of just having one detachment, you'll have seven detachments to pick from to customize your army. I thought that would bring new exciting things for me to do with my my models. I didn't think it would be just it's lol, it's the same but worse. Yeah. <laughs> so it'd be new exciting things. They don't have to be better things. They just have to be different ways of playing. I thought each detachment would give me a different you know, a different play style. Yeah, yeah, like the new new cool ways to do stuff like this one does the bikes better, this one does my tanks better, this mm. one does and I thought this one would make all of my veterans and terminators that is most of my models. I thought it'd make them more exciting. But it doesn't. But no. But no. But no. Uh sad. Oh well. 
Oh, uh, well. There'll oh, well. Always be more Space Marines there well. coming. Yeah, that's it. If you're not, if you don't like the new Space Marines, don't worry. Wait a month. There'll be more new There's Space Marines. Newer Space Marines. It's true. Uh... Is that just the same? That's the same. Nice. But apparently, they're saying every detachment gets it. Oh, nice. Okay, I was wondering about that. So every detachment has six stratagems, but apparently Space Marines have got like signature stat, stratagem armor of contempt that all detachments get. Okay, great. Yeah, because I was hearing people like theorizing about that. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, super, super hope that is a thing for like with the Necrons. Hopefully yeah. all of them can use the reanimation thing. Yeah, I would have thought uh, so. Just because it's such like a... Because you don't want to be, okay, I'm going to try this new play style. Oh, but I give up a fundamental part of my army to do it. Yeah. Um, and so if uh, that's the case for all of them, cool. Hmm. There we go. We, we, we shall see. Uh, we've got a rumor engine. A little claw. Have we seen this before? I feel like we have. Maybe I went back too far. When was this? No, this is recent. But yeah, it's very familiar, isn't it? I feel like we've seen something a lot like it. We've seen a lot of like tattered vampiric type of creatures yeah. over the last year. So this is probably more ghoul type stuff, right? This is on like a plague bearer's skull. Hmm. Maybe. Well, the plague bearers don't have those big long teeth, do they? Maybe. But they have the single eye, right? Yeah, but they also have a horn. Oh, fuck, you're right. Whose skull could it be? Hmm. We shall see. Um, and then uh, 40 years of squats. Nice. Um, we got we got floaty boy. I like that guy. He's fun. He's one of the better, because I don't love the armor style of the heavily armored guys. Mm. So seeing some characters that aren't just chunguses. Yeah. He's nice. Um, and then this is weird choice, right? So they've gone, okay, look at the old trike. Here's the new trike. Look at the old land ships. Here's the new land ship. Look at this old Space Marine Terminator. Here are the Exo Armors. Why didn't they show the fucking Egg Boys? The little Egg Boys! Are exactly. they embarrassed? <laughs> you fucking cowards. You cowards, You Games know where Workshop. you came from. Show your real ancestor. Show the actual <laughs> granddads. The stupid fucking Egg Guys. I will say that I fucking love um, are really cool models. Maybe because they're stupid. Why are oh, they showing these? Show this guy. That's who you really came from. Yeah. Not a fucking space marine. <laughs> yeah. Are they ashamed that they, they want the new models to look cooler than the old ones? And they're like, if we, uh, if we show the, this old one. People will be like, they'll fucking hate the new ones. <laughs> the old ones are just better. Exactly. They'll demand where the new ones, what where the old the ones fuck? went. fuck? That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Look at that beautiful egg boy. He's so good. Love him. This one's a bad one. The chaos squats. Wow. I, I'm, I'm just not angry, Ben. Just disappointed. <laughs> I'm kind of confused. <laughs> yeah, just why are you showing Space Marine? I mean. We've, we've done it. We almost got through a whole article without seeing a Space Marine. Oh, okay. Oh, is this to trick the Space Marine players? Because <laughs> uh, they're not the brightest bunch. <laughs> right. They like primary colors. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they need a new toy every single day. <laughs> yeah. They're like, look, maybe make a squat army. They're like a Space Marine. And they'll oh. be like, oh, I like Space Marines. <laughs> Which one's the lieutenant? <laughs> I've not had one of those for a while. Okay. I get it. Uh, I get it now. So just a, a very yeah. clever marketing strap. <laughs> also, I, why this should be a, like a train. Why is it a Ninja Turtles buggy? Yeah. Trains are cooler. Trains are cooler. Oh, there we go. Uh, that's it. That's all the Warhammer news. Wow. Is there any non-Warhammer news? Uh, probably, yeah. Let's have a look. How the Helen Griffin's coming. Not done any Helen Griffins. I've not done any Warhammies. Uh, been super busy. You've been a very busy boy. You've got a whole new channel keeping you busy, Tom. Just that. And was away this weekend. And just... Ugh. 
Uh, I've got Necrons to build. Wah. Mm. Uh, uh, what are we looking for? Looking for outside of the box. Outside the box. Do you go to the tabletop news outside f oh, the box? I type. Oh, wow. Worst search engine. <laughs> There you go. Did we do that one? Yeah. Uh, no, so we weren't here eighth. last week on the 13th. Oh, no. We, did. we got to two. We got two. Wow. Okay. Oh, shit. What have we got? Oh, what's your prediction? Um, What's new in Vietnam? Well, I'm going to say an engineer, mm -hmm. but they're going to be holding a box, mm -hmm. but like it's heavy, so they, they've got one arm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Balancing. Yeah. Okay, Ooh. Cool. Like running along. Yeah. I'm going to do guy with roll of um, foam cable Ooh, on a spool. Okay, spool guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, love that. Wow, it feels like both of us could win. <laughs> if one of us game. wins, actually a pretty good chance that <laughs> both of us are going to win. It's an Assassin's Creed role-playing game coming out. Really? Wow, are they all from different eras as well? I'm playing Viking Man. Well, I'm Pirate Guy. I'm uh, from the French Revolution. <laughs> Great. Okay, you all get to do your own separate adventures. Oh, God. And then you get to do all the fucking, like, the out of animus stuff. Well, that's great because you can print off, like, a load of photocopying, <laughs> slap it on the table, go, right, I'm going to go and have pirate adventures with him. You, Viking guy, go and photocopy these. You do busy <laughs> work. <laughs> See you in four hours. Oh, God. Okay. Wow. Um, that's how you play all the different eras. Seems bonkers. I'm curious. Like I'm making that up. Um, who knows? I know nothing about it. But it's got it's got weird dice. Ooh. It's got a million adverts. Uh, Aftermath. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is a, a novel for um, Infinity. Okay. Cool. Got a big Bushido ogre. It's nice. He's got Looking spiky balls. Red. Oh, and spiky balls and some guys. That ogre went that way. That way. They're cool. I feel like I've seen that thing a thousand times. That can't be new. Yeah. Maybe drop the zone commander or drop fleet commander. One of those. Maybe there's this one's got extra sprongles. Maybe. Okay, sure. Uh, ooh. Big, big tank. Here. It's kind of fun. Yeah. Looks like an epic thing, really, doesn't it? Yeah. Ordinatus. Mad Robot's doing some kind of cool great cook guys. Bad. Bad, bad mans. Kind of fun. Uh, oh, look at this little dude. Like a chibi orc pirate. Why not? Why not? Oh, it's a tank crane. Is that that guy? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Shit, so close. Really, God, I really <laughs> had like a good feeling <laughs> on this one. Well, we've got another. We can roll again. Okay, let's roll again. We've got uh, we've got a little go steampunk goblin on pig with minigun hat. His hat is a minigun. So that's pretty awesome. I like the the tails, like the wind up. Crank. The crank, yeah. He, he's amazing. Where's the actual model though? Guns crab spider. Oh, those are fucking oh. super cool. This one on the right's my favorite because it could hide way better than the other ones and then pop up. And go, dick, 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 dick. <laughs> Pretty fucking good. Um, They're adorable. Oh, I want to see the miniatures of these. If, yeah. Maybe next week. Um, mm, teasing. Ooh. Keep your secrets. Uh, Cromlech are doing Desert Raider heavy weapon teams. Wow, they look ace. They're kind of good, aren't they? They look I really think. good. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, Cromlech also doing other guardsman types. Bad, bad guy guards. They look yeah. super good as well. They're kind of fun. Ah, oh, Grot Plane. Looks fucking amazing. More game exclusive. Uh, I like his little checkerboard <laughs> scarf. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that thing is super fucking rad. That's awesome. I love it. TT Combat's got a nice little ruin. Sure. Pretty nice. Pretty cool. Uh, what comes Gurga, Gatling gun. Sure. Oh, look, there's a guy that makes ammo. 
It's not, almost what not, you said. Not in not Vietnam. Not quite. He's got something in both hands. Oh, and true. I wanted the toolbox, not ammo canisters. Close. Um, my C and light infantry, if you ever really wanted to do like Trojan Wars. Ooh. There you go. You've got the big okay. boob shield. I got you covered. Nice. Ooh. Creature caster are doing Eldritch Horrors. I always like Creature Caster. They do some amazing minis. They do. Uh, they're super, super rad, super weird. Yeah, I like them. A new big tank from Morton. Pretty cool. I mean, that'll easily pretend to be a Rogal Dawn. Yeah, that yeah, thing looks ace. Like and there's a good boy dog who's on guard duty. I love him. He's a good boy. No, new Vietnams. Shit. What the fuck? We've been robbed. Shit the bed. Shit the bed. Bam, I guess that's all that's new in Warhammer's this week. Yeah. Okay. We should probably have, have a, a little, little break. break. And then we'll come back. We'll play some modded FTL while we read all of your lovely messages. Yeah. And have a fun chat about nonsense. Just absolute fucking nonsense. Mm, I can't wait. New Warcry Fire Slayers. Is that a thing? Oh, did we miss them? Turn it around. Go back. Uh, it's going to be a, a a dwarf with a, a big haircut. And a <laughs> and we're not going to be able to tell if it's new or not. Where is it? I don't instantly see it. Um, Were they exceptionally cool? What article are they hiding? Oh, they're... Uh, okay, they're more detailed and interesting than the old ones. Sort of exactly kind of what I was imagining. Oh, a little, little dog. Fire dog friend. They, have they figured out Warcry players like pets? They want pets. Um, that guy's got a whip. Wait, do you have egg shoulder pads? Oh, that's dangerous. That doesn't seem like a good way to transport your eggs. Yeah, what's going on with his... Oh, I thought his beard was a torch. It's not. I thought he was, like, dropping a torch. Oh. A mic drop. Oh. Oh, I can yeah, <laughs> see that. But then I sort of realigned my brain and realized it's his beard. Right. Okay. Yeah, little yeah. lava dog friend. He's nice. What a dog. I don't know about this. Egg shoulder pads are weird. Leave them at home. <laughs> Especially if you've got a big metal whip. Like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's only a matter of time. I like. He's cool. Is that just like a pike or is that a gun as well? Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know. Gun doesn't seem like a slayer thing. No, they do use them. Do they? Uh, fire. What are they called? Keepers, slayers, slayer, gun. Shit, this is not going to bring up anything. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Age of Sigma. Apparently, it's the first female dwarf for twenty years. Really? Wow. Well, that's good. Didn't realize it'd been so long. Uh, I'm pretty sure these guys have. Dudes with fucking guns. Yeah, here. Really? Bad, bad gateway. gateway. Oh. Tom, why are you always trying to use a bad gateway? Oh, God. Just the lowest fucking res. picture. Oh, uh, wow. These guys, because apparently, at some point, they were the best fucking thing in the game. Oh. And. Okay. Wow, uh, I have no memory of those models. People did like this weird Slayer gun line army. Oh. Uh, Hate that. Auric Hearthguard. You could be making it up and... Uh, <laughs> sounds right. I would I just believe you. <laughs> it sounds dwarfy. Yeah. Um, and made up. Hmm. Wow. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to take a quick break, but we'll yeah. be back uh, playing some games, doing some stuff, mm. having some fun. Yeah. Uh, I've seen a few people asking if we're ever going to do Total War again, and I would say probably at some point. Yeah. Right now, we played all the campaigns we're excited to play, so maybe when there's some DLC or cool mods or something, then yes, we will go back to it. But yeah. 
the new DLC is not not particularly exciting. But we will play FTL. 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 Uh, but yeah, so we will see you uh, very soon. Stay tuned. Um, we'll be back in uh, five minutes or so. Mm-hmm. Uh, see you in five. Bon. Perfect. Just fucking... Ben, ba ba ben, ba ba ben. Tom, 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 ta da Tom, 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 Tom. Ben, Ben, Ben. Tom, 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 ta da Tom, 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 <laughs> Tom, Tom. <laughs> uh, welcome back, everybody. Uh, we're oh, playing. Welcome back. Footle. Footle. Uh, I was just looking at the ships. Oh, we have of course you wanted to look at the Deviant, didn't you, Tom? The Deviant. Oh, my. Uh, it's, just, it's just really like, oh. Something right about out. it. just really just spoke to me. <laughs> Resonance. Uh, we have uh, so many fucking Zoltan ships. We do. Well, we've done all the soup quests. <laughs> just nothing but fucking soup quests. Um, do you want to try something different? Yeah. We've done a lot of teleporting as well. Yeah, we should try and avoid teleports. We uh, have unlocked a lot of teleports. Do we have like a rock ship? No, we never really go in Rockland and do the rock quests. Hmm. Um, did you? What is this guy? It's got a missile, chain laser, and a bit of everyone crew. You want to do this one? Oh, it's got a teleporter though, so maybe not. Well, it's only like a two a twofer. I know, but we'll just use it and nothing else, won't we? <laughs> we'll try and push the guns, but I think it's a slightly different one. Um, I'm easy. Whichever you fancy. Sure. Tech Mark Four. Uh, hard mode. Hard. I like it hard. Uh, proceed with the mission. Do something on board. Do a salvage run. Hooray! We need to name our boys. Okay, who is on board? Donotron says, generic Yogscast fan. Generic YF. That's Perfect. you. Um, we've also got H double V. H double V. Perfect. Malador. Malador. And Boarbound. Bound. What's the Shell Guardian do? Uh, are they the ones that they can toughen themselves up? So it takes heavier self damage, but does thirty crew damage and two system damage, rather than regenerating, fortifies itself temporarily, taking. Okay, so it hurts itself and everyone around it, but then that has massive damage reduction. Okay. Um, but oh wow, has takes double asphyxy damage. Oh. They gotta be careful. Always have a spotter or a second. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just so you don't uh <laughs> you know. You you wanna get where you're going before it you uh mm -hmm. you ain't going anywhere no more. Mm-hmm. Uh oh, supplies for days. Supplies good. Uh I'll take it. Sweet. So, Generic Yogs fan has donated. Thank you very much. Thank you, Generic Yogs fan. And they say, hey, boyos. I recently bought some Yogs cast branded braces, but they never arrived. Would you remind refunding my Yog dentures? Oh, I get that. Sorry for that. You've heard that joke in my brain for years, and it was driving me mad. Anyways, love you. Uh, well, thank you very much. Uh, it's it. a very good, very good yoke. But braces and dentures are different things, Tom. Oh. Oh, yeah. Your joke doesn't make sense. you got to workshop that. That ain't getting into your type five. I think mean, give it a bit more. Four. A bit more workshopping. Shame. Do we want to board? Uh, they are running away. They, they might, might flee with my They boys. might run away with our boys, <laughs> which I'm not super into. 
Don't give them our boys. But we can at least like delay a little bit. And I can drop a missile in their butt. Okay, you better hit their butt. Or I'm gonna go lose my shield. boys. Nice. <laughs> Tim! Give me back my boys! <laughs> they only had four hit points. As I fired that shot, I saw like, huh, there's only two hits. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Hard mode it is! <laughs> It's <laughs> not two best crew members. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> okay. No, no, stick with it. Oh, now we've got to rename them all again. Uh, we'll take no time at all. Also, we didn't actually set the challenge level up. Oh, right. So we, we've beaten... Uh, normal hard. Normal hard. We were supposed to do challenge hard. Oh, okay. The real reason for the restart. Not difficult enough. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, Chad Alpha Gamers. Because otherwise it's just too easy. Uh, same names or do we roll a new crew? <laughs> no, nah, we'll give them the same names. Uh, it was a vision from Zeech Ben. I think you know what that means. Uh, <laughs> sure do. Cool. Uh, so we got a new boy. Okay, but this oh, time great. when I shoot them and fucking kill them. It's for realsies. <laughs> uh, H will be, it was generic. Generic Yogg's fan. Uh, generic Yogg's fan. Uh, and then uh, Malador. Malador. Boarbound. Uh, and so we've got another one. Because we didn't actually do that thing that gave us some an extra boy either. Oh, yeah. So it's almost like I killed three crew members. <laughs> uh, what am I typing? Boarbound. <laughs> and then uh, Heroically Average. Nice. Well, perfect for the normal human person. Heroically Avarar. Uh, sweet. Are you just a regular boy? Yes, I guess. I guess get them on the engines so that Mantis Man can be oh, thrown yeah. free. Mantis can go and do doors. Like uh, Worf. Uh, yeah. That's Worf's job, right? He holds down the door button on the Enterprise. Oh, yeah, sure. That kind of makes sense. <laughs> Right. We could board. Oh, we're getting drone down to beam to be careful. Do you want to board? <laughs> what could go wrong? <laughs> They've got nine hit points now. <laughs> we can upgrade our engines as well. We can take out of like med bay as well. Uh, where do we want to be? They won't pull someone out of piloting, will they? <laughs> oh, oh, they will. They will. <laughs> Right, well, we win that fight. As long as we don't get beamed. Uh, oh, they beamed the teleporter! They knew what they were doing. Does this fire two shots? So. Oh, perfect. He abandoned his friend. You left your friend to die! Now you shall die too! Neat. Nice. Oh, there's a shop. Uh, we aren't going to be buying anything. No, we got no money. Do we have any systems we could sell? Uh, like, Advanced Navigator is shit. FTL Jam is kind of shit. Doubling their time. It takes them to jump. Uh, advanced Navigator. Eh. I don't know. We're not desperate for any of those. No, I just things. thought if there was something we really wanted, we could... Charge stunner, heavy ion, phase boy. Yeah, we don't need any of that stuff. No. Bring my boys home. You might need some help. There we go. Okay, now don't don't leave. Up <laughs> taking our boys. <laughs> I'm not gonna get Two of our boarding party <laughs> killed immediately, but uh, that would never happen. What am I? Some kind of mega, mega dingus? <laughs> so H double B has donated fifteen bucks. Wow, H double B. Very kind. Definitely didn't you. blow you up. No, no, only in a dream. That was in a dream. 
and you say, hey, friend Tom. Hey. Friend uh, Ben. If you get a ghosty, I'd love to be your killer once again. As I was for a long time, I had the most kills on your FTL stat screen. Love yous. Wow. Oh, you want to be a stone cold killer, do you? Double B, you're the pilot yeah. right now. Which means you get to claim glory for all the kills, maybe. Yeah, fuck. We're actually going to break our. I hate that. Our one gun bar. Send, oh, look, the. The, he, um, the shell guy is a roly-poly boy. Did you see that? No, I did not. After this, we're going to take him for a little walk. Mm. And I'll show you. I'll show you his skills. Okay, that's dealt with... Probably fine. Nice. Perfect. Uh, He's a roly-poly boy. Wow, okay, that's fun. Get back on shields. Have a heal? Yeah, probably makes sense. Uh, who wants to be blasted? I don't want that. Ooh. I'll take it. Mecha friend. Aisha. Yeah, just having someone that can do some repairs. Actually, not a terrible idea. Uh, that can be Inquisitor Bot. It's perfect, because they are a robot. Ink bot. Uh, let me just do some healing, and then we'll be out of here. There you go, ink bot. You get to push down the door button. Uh, you go there. You know, cams, I guess. Oh, you get to peep. Uh, I might be able to get a load of supplies. Missed the Warhammer portion. What's the consensus on the balance slate? Uh, I don't think we know enough about the points changes to really know, but the change to uh, mortal wounds causes more problems than it solves. Yeah, I think they're going to patch that at some point. How they didn't do that in one move, though, I have no idea. I feel bad for all the Custodies players. Yeah, they got, they got kind of fucked. Mm-hmm. Uh, the crowds against the use of multiverse travel endangers their way of life. The Federation soldiers hold their ground, try to fend off. Do you want to try and assist? Sure. Ah, we've got a lot of people. We've got Someone a lot of dies. people. We've got people to spare. Oh, shit. HBB. You probably took out a load of guys in the firefight, though. Yes. Which is what you wanted. You wanted to kill count, right? That's pew, definitely pew, pew. what you wanted. Blaze of glory, double B. Good job. Oh, so cool. You actually held off the horde while the rest of our guys got on the ship and, and escaped. You were the hero we didn't deserve. Mm -hmm. Which means everyone else gets a promotion. Everyone else <laughs> has been promoted. Congratulations. You guys are all the best. Uh, can we send, like, just a mantis in? Probably not. But no, maybe. not quite. Oh, it's Beam Master. Oh, hey, Beam Master. Just send in the Roly Poly Boy with the Mantis. I just wonder if we can, like... Yeah, stop him from running away. Sure. Uh, but we should do the shield right. Really, really fucked up the hull there. Uh, yeah, I think we just killed him. Oh, okay. With the chain laser. Do you think one day we get to fly Beam Master's ship? I really want to unlock Beam Master. Beam Master, very cool. <laughs> that drone's getting annoyed, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How many times must I fix this? Nice. Problem solved. Take that, Beam Master. Woo! Uh, do we have time? Oh, yeah, we've got a load of jobs. Uh, Malador's donated 10 bucks. Thank you very much, Malador. Thank you, Malador. And you say, Bomb and 10. I was recently at Element Games for an Armada event. Nice. And I managed to get a pick of the world famous dice. This was right at the start of the day, so no one else was in the loo. Toilet dice, Tom. Nice. Oh, the official dice of the worst cheater in the world. Holy shit. 
Oh, that's fucking amazing. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Man, I like Element Games. Yeah, they seem to do good stuff. I'd say it's one of the main places if I'm buying stuff, I go to them. We're not sponsored by them in any shape or form. Nope. But uh, they do they do good Warhammers. Uh, really good. Um, and I'm going to stop firing missiles. I don't think I need to. Uh, and great delivery time. I don't know where they're based, but uh, I find pretty, pretty good. Mm. Uh, arrives promptly. Stockport. Where's Stockport? Uh, it's like up near Manchester, I think. Nice. Um, yeah, yeah, for online retail. Uh, super highly rate. Back, you go on doors, peeling. Looking good. Um, heroically average. Donates 10 bucks. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much, heroically much. average. And they say, Tom and Ben, some silver cider for this week. I'm just about settled into my new gaff, and to celebrate, I got a Warhammer starter kit. I'll have to get to it after I finish my current pile of shame, though. My IKEA haul. Ooh. Only a liquor cabinet to go. Ooh. Wow, and enjoy. I IKEA is much sort of quicker to get done than Warhammer. <laughs> God, yeah, like you do need to kind of uh just do it <laughs> though. Uh I I had like a bunch of shelves. Mm -hmm. They've just been putting off for so fucking long. Oh shit, no. I, I do it the day I get it. Because if I don't do it on the day I get it, then... I get used to there being a box there. <laughs> yeah. And I stop seeing it, it becomes like invisible. I, I feel so. And it will sit there for a year if I don't do it straight away. Pow, pow. What the hell? How are you missing so much, my dude? Well, slow and steady wins the race. Pink, bonk, great. And we all kind of chained up. Nice. Uh, they can't get through our shield, so it's not too big a problem. Perfect. Uh, not much money. Not amazing. The three missiles is pretty good. We are using missiles. You made your point, Mr. Freddy Man. <laughs> How dare you call us that? Uh, I don't take it. I just think those missiles are pretty good. Hey! Still Cheeky son of a bitch. Let's just have a little chat to a merchant. Uh, sell some resources. Hmm. Shit. Uh, I think we want those missiles. I don't think we can afford to sell anything uh, at this point. What have you got? Uh, What's the conserve ion? Don't recognize that. It doesn't use any power up. It's pretty good. I think we should that. get that just for an extra gun. It's 28 bucks, like short term, pretty good. Yeah, I mean, we'll phase it out pretty quickly, but you know, we we'll get half the money back. Uh, pierces all shield layers, dealing ion damage for the first layer of shields, as well as in addition. That's not awful for one power. Yeah, let's just take that. I'll let you kind of like work out what else, but yeah, like we've got a bunch of freebies. Mm. Wow, we're pretty heavily gunned for a ship with one power in um, guns. Yeah. Um, Boarbound has donated. Thank you, Boarbound. And they say, your old, fle your old feet slap against the wet cobbles underfoot, struggling to keep from slipping in the grimy tunnel you now explore. The light of your torch flickers and wanes in the inky darkness. You begin to wonder why you ever embarked on this mystery quest. It's a mystery quest. Ooh, I love mystery quest. Don't we? Don't we all? Don't we all? Uh, Funny you should say that, Boarbound, because there is a brand new channel with Tom's role playing on called Mystery Quest. We've done a new thing. Uh, you know that thing we were teasing for a long time. Fuck, you are going Wow. Die. Who's this badass who's better than generic Yogg's fan? I don't know. 
Oh, there are soldiers, so you got uh, extra damage. Shit, they got a gun. They got well, a fucking gun. That's where we went wrong. Uh, Send in the roly poly boy. What if we combust? Pow! Okay, right, that made them run. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> their guns are on fire. Nice. Nerd. Uh, can we get the chain laser up? Great. Can we wait them out? Can we torment them? You could asphyxie them. Probably. With that much fire. Yeah. This will take a while. Okay. Oh, don't forget we got the ion as well. Oh, yeah. Ion their shield down. Nice. You could go over there if you wanted to. Stop just them give from them a little tickle. I'm worried about just. Oh, the fire's not actually going to spread. Oh. Well, that's disappointing. Okay, well, I guess it's safe to board. We'll just see how they do in the older. Oh, uh, actually. I think they're going to fix it before we can get them. Okay, right. Well, let's just kill them. Blammo. Take that. Um, uh, do nothing. We've done all the things. Great. Next sector. Okay, we need to try and find places that we haven't been to before. Yeah. Do you want free mantis sector or free mantis oh. regions? I mean, some of my favorite places are regions. Great. <laughs> Great. <laughs> While you're in. Uh, oh. for it. Uh, but yeah, there's a new channel. It's called Mystery Quest. There. Mystery Quest. That sounds amazing. Tell me more about it. Um, there's a link. You can do it. Um, oh, click that link. Uh, Quest the Warrior, come. Oh, we've got a new Mantis friend. They want to come on their own Mystery Quest. Uh, that can be Neutral Quartz. Um. But yeah, did you like the old kind of Yogg's Quest style things that we did? Um, mm, Tom's GM role playing adventures. Well, it's that, but uh, but new and uh, more and more. Uh, you can uh, come and check it out. Is already like four episodes out? Three episodes? There's a whole There's bunch more. Right there. Let me show people the fun <gasps> of the mystery quest. Mystery quest. Uh, YouTube. Home. Sure. Mystery quest. Here it is. You creep through uh. the... Uh, so there's five episodes up. Ooh. One full campaign you can look at. <gasps> the whole thing? The whole thing. Day one. The wow. whole campaign went up. First episode of the next one. The next one's out. It's only been out for about a um, uh, a week, just over. Um, and come and do it. Excellent. It's Tom and Ben approved. Approved. Uh, yeah. Um, do we want take system recommendations? I've got a lot of role-playing systems already lined up for this. Um, mm -hmm. I'm always happy to uh, hear some recommendations, but I will say, if it's mega fucking rules heavy, I'm never going to do it. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely not the style. Um, and before people are like, well, Call of Cthulhu actually has quite a thick rule book, but the actual core rule is very simple. Very simple. Uh, but... Like a, a mega, like, mech economy game <laughs> is not going to be a thing. A lot of what we're playing, uh, the people we're playing with, um, aren't super familiar with a lot of games. And uh, since we're going to be playing a ton of different systems. Yeah. Going to keep it light. Uh, want to keep it a little bit lighter. So not doing uh, Lancer. Um, oh, yeah. Post-game thing. There is a post-game chat after every... Session, we're going to be doing a post-game chat. Ooh. That's for members. Um, turns out running this thing, kind of expensive. A lot of editing. There's a lot of extra like post-production post going into this. Mm -hmm. um, but all of that costs money. Uh, people's time. Uh, you know, cameras, uh, edits. It's a lot of uh, people involved. Yeah, there's like more moving cogs. And so uh, we had to put some stuff behind. Members, 
because normally we never did this, but people kept asking for it, and so we're doing that. Um, cool. But you don't have to uh, have that at all. It's mainly just us talking about. That's a little extra thank you for the people who support the channel, right? Yeah, because we do need uh, people to help support it because YouTube uh, doesn't pay very much in views um, for yeah. this Although, kind of stuff. Also, if you if you go on the Patreon, you get the same videos. Uh, Patreon, it's the same. The same. You'd rather to go there. The same money, same thing. Um, just whatever's easiest for you. If you want to support on uh, YouTube. That's cool. If you want to do a Patreon, that's cool. Uh, if you're broke, tell a friend. Um, mm. Like, I appreciate. Like, it's more views is more good. Yeah. Um, you know, leave a comment. Uh, just say something positive. Um, leave a like. You know, do a like. Uh, also, it's a podcast as well. <gasps> Subscribe to the podcast. Uh, just have your phone auto download every episode. Yeah. Uh, super good. Mm. We hit, I think it was like 140 in the UK on just all podcasts. Ooh. Uh, just because it had like a load of episodes go up in one oh go. God, and there's at least 150 podcasts in the UK. I've heard there was 141 podcasts. <laughs> and uh, that, yeah, it's only ever so slightly before. Suck it, Ben and Jerry's movie chat podcast. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, so yeah, there's some extra... Um, uh, extra stuff, extra stuff coming. Ooh. Um, Can't wait. I hinted the City Skylines two playthrough. Will this be members locked? You're not a member. You don't want to miss it. Don't worry. No, that stuff will be free. Like, you did, like on my regular channel, did members as well, just because uh, YouTube views and mm, stuff. ads are all over the place, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, it's hard, hard ad life. Uh, it doesn't pay out, but. No, it will definitely be. Um, uh, that would definitely be a free, free thing to watch. Um, you know, if I if I ever cover it, I don't know. You know, there might be some other. Maybe Sim City will release a new fucking game. Maybe. And I'll do that one instead. Ooh. Uh, Fingers crossed. But would be would be a thing. Mm. But yeah, no. If you. Uh, can't support financially, then yeah, holy shit. Um, watch the video, tell friends, leave comments. Um, Post it on a Reddit or something. Yeah, but in like a cool, chill way. Oh yeah, don't just uh, be like a spam bot. Uh, Spread the word. But yeah, like all of that stuff, all of that stuff is nice. But even just, you know, just say something um, nice. I can't support emotionally. <laughs> okay, well don't worry about that then. Uh, but you know, because uh, I know, like a bunch of the other, like the people that have played, they've, um, you know, they've looked at the comments and, you know, said like, "Oh, we'd love to do more of this because everyone's so positive." Yeah. Like you'd be surprised how far that goes. Mm. Uh, that you know. That's true. It's nice to get some positive reinforcement. Yeah, because uh, honestly, well. it takes about two hundred nice comments to make up for one bad one. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you've, you know, we need we need all the nice ones we can get. <laughs> A lot more. That's just the, uh, the good bad ratio economy that we live in. I think so. I mm -hmm. think that makes sense. Um, but yeah, the uh, uh, we're still going to keep making this for a, a long time, um, and just hope that we can make it sort of economically Ooh. viable. Uh, yeah, because everyone's got a lot of a lot of a lot of plates to spin. Mm. Good jeez. And uh, there's a lot of opportunity costs for everyone involved. Could be doing well, other things, right? That's it. I think that's like one of the main things. Like, because at the moment, all of this so far that we've done is like just been run uh, it, pro bono. It's all goodwill, isn't it? Uh, and that doesn't last forever. Yeah, especially when if people are like streamers or things like that, getting them to give up streaming on their own channel mm -hmm. is uh, like a bigger ask, especially when you try to do it on the reg. Yeah. When they know they're, they're going to lose money and not get paid. Bad time. So it's a big uh, ask to do regularly. Uh, yeah. See? Very cool. That's exciting times. I love it. Um, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, do send recommendations if you want to have... Um, if you've got any cool ideas. 
I'm sh sure I will have heard of it. And if I haven't, then it must be shit. <laughs> Tom is such an expert role player. Uh, no, no, um, no. Like, there's always going to be loads of. Uh, I mean, there's so many systems and settings out there. You can't know them all, right? Yeah. Um, but like over the last like years, have just slowly and steadily. I guess a bit like you collecting war games mm -hmm. systems. You know, yeah. or you're just interested in mechanically how different ones do things. Mm -hmm. And for me, I'm very similar with role playing stuff. Like, I really like different. Like, you know, just mechanically, how do they handle fundamentally the same kind of things that yeah. exist across all of these games? Yeah, all these kind of different approaches. It's interesting, isn't it? Like, um, I, know I could talk about war games for hours. It's amazing how many of them just do the same shit. And yeah. Occasionally, when you see someone do something in innovative and different, even if the rest of the system's not great, you can be like, well, that almost makes it worth it on its own, right? Exactly. And I think it's like kind of doubly so with. Um, role-playing games, because sometimes just the the theme of the game is enough to get me interested. Uh, you're okay. Um, so yeah. Uh, check it out. Mm. Uh, but if you don't like role-playing games, I probably wouldn't check it out. I don't think you're going to be into it. That's true. Um, but if you like miniatures games, you can go watch Games Night. Yeah. Well, we've been doing doing new battle reports for a few months now. What about bigotures? When are you going to start bigotures. doing bigotures? Yeah, uh, that's on... Uh, like human-sized chess. Ooh, Those ones. Yeah, okay. We could do that. We could get all the airsofters in and get them to like play musical statues. Yeah. And then roll dice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty sure we can find some people who are into that. Amazing. The internet's a big place. Okay. See Vampire, The Masquerade. Man, I used to um, uh, DM Man Vampire, The Masquerade um, when I was an edgy teen. Yeah, yeah, like that's it. Or ST rather than DM. Oh, okay. Te the technical term they preferred. Because uh, what edgy teen doesn't like vampires? Moody gothic vampires. You see, I was never really into vampires, but there was a time when you could be werewolves. Oh, yeah, werewolf the apocalypse. And I remember you could have a werewolf that fired their fingernails like submachine guns. <laughs> yeah. And was like, this is the stupidest fucking mechanic in the game. I'm definitely doing it. They were also fucking amazing against vampires. Vampires like had a weakness to like, you know, fire and stakes. But also werewolf claws would just do insane damage to them. Really good. And be able to walk around just going pew pew pew. <laughs> <laughs> just this. Just so fucking dumb. So dumb. Uh, Amazing. Yeah, not the uh There was a, we also did one session we tried all of them. We did the Vampire the Masquerade, Werewolf the Apocalypse, and also I forget. It was like a wi human wizard one. Ooh. What was that one called? It was like Mage the the, the Nerdening. Sure. Um, God, can anyone in chat remember that? It was by the same White Wolf company. It was from In World of Darkness, and it was just not as cool as Vampire or Werewolf. Mage the Ascension. Mage, Mage the, the Asc Awakening. It was the Ascension, I think. Okay. Um, Magic the Gathering? <laughs> God, it was so yeah, much harder to like find cool settings for the, the human mages to get into. And if they ever ran into a vampire or a werewolf, they were just they were fucked. <laughs> yeah. I can't really remember a lot about the system. It was one that we played like as teens, but like just never went, never went back to it. So I got a big void in my role-playing knowledge mm -hmm. because we basically only played GURPS for about about 12 years. Just didn't play any wow. other fucking system, really. You're a GURPS boy. Just dipped into... My like, pa was a GURPS boy, and I'll be a GURPS boy till I die. Yeah, <laughs> just God, like... You know, we are poor, and mm. uh, you just needed two books Can to run everything you could ever imagine. Yeah, a million games in one book. Yeah. Uh, what do you need? It was so good. 
That's why I like simple systems now. It's because I'm lazier. And Ooh. I don't think more rules make a better story. No. Uh, it, and it also, I think complicated rules or very in-depth combat rules give players the wrong impression. Mm. And they make players focus more on winning the game than doing an actual role play. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You get a lot less of that guy and bogged down, boring combats when you're playing a game without that much rules to get lost in. Yeah, with far lighter combat systems. Leads to uh, generally better role playing, in my experience, anyway. Um, I agree. You definitely don't get anyone complaining that you've got done your build wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's that kind of shit. Far. Far more, like, you know, everyone has those DM, like, it's not just to say D&D &D is the only game that has this. No, of course not, but everyone's familiar, But, right? you know, those uh, horror stories of, you know, players who are just sat entirely min-maxing their builds every session, not really even playing the and game, just... There's nothing wrong with that. That is a, just a different kind of game you can play. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? It's just not really the vibe that I'm kind of, kind of into. But, yeah, if you want to focus more on the role-playing and the story and the having silly silliness... Then the combat just gets in the way of that. Um, but yeah, also, GURPS looks aggressively complicated at the beginning, but I promise you, if, if you need like someone to help you into the system to make your first character, once you can get that done, like mechanically playing it, one of the easiest games. Like genuinely think so. Character sheet, really easy. Uh, and you don't have to use all those rules. Also, like, a lot like of them a, are modules, right? That yeah, because it's a modular system. Drop. You just completely ignore entire swathes of that game and just mm. clunk bits in. Well, yeah, because if you're in a non-magic setting, you can be like, right, fuck all the magic shit off. Yeah, um, I, I you know, just don't want to do it. You can just pick and choose what's, what's relevant to your setting. Uh, do we have another Mantis? Okay, we now have... We've got a new Mantis. What are they called? Can you give me a name? Wow, more mantis. Uh, it's Gobspite. Gobspite. They're actually going to be our engineer. Because they're good in the engine room. But then I think, like, rule number one of role playing is pick the rules you like. Yeah, actually. geez. Like, there is no right, right or wrong way to do it. Like, you can take the crunchiest system and just pick out the bits you like and. Get rid of the rules you don't like, because it, it's not this competitive game where you have to follow the rules to make sure it's fair. Yeah. You're making up, you're literally making up everything. So if yeah. you're running a game, just be like, yeah, we're not using complicated hit location tables, because um, I don't like it. Like, I read a really good, uh, was reading, I was uh, reading a new role-playing book last night. Oh. Man. Uh, I just, like, want to just find the forward that was written in it. Because I was like, oh, I love this fucking mentality. Mm. Um, uh, so it's for a game called uh, Mothership, which is all about playing sci-fi horror. Mm -hmm. And they did this expansion book called Dead Planet, which is like a, a setting. It's got scenarios. It's got monsters. It's got all kinds of things. But it was just this like little bit uh, that I really love the, like, it was the first thing in the book, which is how to use uh, how to use this module. Mm -hmm. Cannibalize it, rip it apart. Uh, take the tables, take the monsters, take the maps, take the ships, or the planet, or the adventures, or the locations. Mm -hmm. Take anything you want and do anything you want with it. This book belongs to you now, and so does everything inside. Do with it as you will. Oh man, I feel like every like, role playing book should have that in the front cover. That's the, like a standard issue disclaimer yeah, for you, all role-playing games. You don't have to play this properly. You, mm. If you just like this spaceship, ignore the crew. Yeah. You give this to your players instead. It doesn't have to be the main bad guy spaceship. Uh, mm. If you like this uh, this planet or this world, but you hate the name, fuck it. Rename it. Like mm. It's just, I think, that kind of mentality of people not getting yeah. too precious about. Which is much harder to do in a board game or a war game or something like that, where both like all the players are trying to, like, you know win their game following the same rules. Yeah. That's a lot more, much more of an ask to do like homebrew brew stuff. If you're running a role-playing game, fuck it. Like you're literally 
You're literally making it all up as you go along, and these books are a guideline to give you ideas, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I thought, thought it was a good, good bit of writing. Mm. To, uh, like, intro thing. Uh, right, we are getting blasted by the planet? Wait, they must be allies. Oh, looks like they're shooting at us. It does. Are look they trying to shoot that border for us? <laughs> oh, thank, thanks, guys. We'll, we'll handle this. We've got, a, we've got a lot of mantis who can tear this, tear this boy apart. Please don't help. Uh, right, I'm just playing save. Ooh. Oh shit, gun down. Oh, what knocked our gun out? Sorry. Oh, a flank. Ow. Oh, it did shoot that. <gasps> oopsie, oopsie poopsie. I didn't realize they were getting gassed. Wait, oh, if I don't have an actual powered weapon, I don't think the free guns fire. There we go, now they fire. Oh. Okay. Shit. Uh, Inquisitor Bots has donated. Thank you. You say, Timothy Bonjamin, I am three out of five done with my death wing. Don't worry, Tom. I put checkerboard on one of them just for you. Nice. Praise be to Kremlo. So oh, look. God, I'm so glad I didn't board because they just got shot by the planet and exploded. Oh, wow. Ah, oh, there's some Another nice Terminators. Mantis. Good crisp cream. Very nice. Oh, there you go. Ch checkerboard medic. Uh, oh, they look really nice. And checkerboard. Mm. Very cool. Let's work on the apothecary's lenses. Yeah. Good. Yeah, they look ace. Very cool. They look great. Uh, do you have a name for a new person? Uh, LT King. LT King. It's in the game. Uh, Neural Quartz has donated. Thank you very much. And they say, Big Boy Ben and Baby Boy Tom. I finally got my Space Chungi together. Still need a new transfer, so... Also, my thoughts on Malifaux minis look purdy. Malifaux minis are purdy. You are correct. Yeah, I like a lot of the sort of like style and design, design choices. Right, here are their space machines. They say, finally done. 75% was painted to the sound of Ben's voice. Ooh. Oh, that explains everything. Oh, these are great. They're like the Leviathan space marines. Yeah. Oh, you've done almost all of them. They're looking pretty cool. There's Look, a long big, boy. Big Gunbot. He's oh, very cool. big. Uh, very dark, dark angels. Yeah, they look great. Good job. And some Eshers. But they're halfway through. Okay, yeah. They need a little bit more paint on the face, but looking nice. They get in there. Dark Angels, or are they one of like the Dark Angel successor chapters? Because they're much darker. Or is it just your own take on the color scheme? Hmm. You haven't done your Terminators as Deathwing, which is fair enough. Because you know they didn't. Dark Angels Terminators used to be black. They only changed the color scheme during like second edition. Oh really? Oh really? That's a true story. Got another recycler bomb. Let's go. I want to. Uh, Gobspite has also donated. Thank you very much. And they say hi, Tomka Truck and Ben Carr. Long time Vodblin, first time dono. Thank you. 
Love the stream. Despite the depths it tends to plumb, just saw a video by Rogue Hobbies about bring out your lead, which looked like the kind of old hammer event you'd like. Have you heard of it? I've heard of Rogue Hobbies. That's um, uh, Louise Sturgeon's new channel. She left GW to make her own YouTube. Uh, did she paint the very colorful cat with wings? Was that her? I don't remember. Do you remember the big sphinx? Sphinx. Yeah. But I remember the model. Well. I don't remember who painted it. But she I does a lot of talk name. about like. She did. Okay, uh, that's where I remember her name from. Because uh, that model's one of my favorite models. I think I've seen painted. Wow. Uh, uh, but no, I don't know about bringing out your lead. What is it? Thing is, I like sort of looking and reminiscing about old Warhammer. I don't think I need to go to a physical event. I think I have seen Bring Out Your Lead, where, where they play like old Hammer um, mm. with old uh, uh, they put with old armies, but all the models have to be old because a friend of mine, like an old friend I used to do wargaming with, mm -hmm. they went to it. Oh, well, their models too new. Uh, no, no, um, no, but they had built, um, I can't remember, I think maybe they did like an old uh, Dark Eldar, a uh, Dark Elf mm. army, but, but it was all like ultra really? classic, like the first Dark Elves. Wow, um, there aren't many of those, and with the, those creepy cold ones. Yeah, 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 and the, the armies looked great, and I like, mm. saw their um, pictures of it, and was wow. like, holy shit. That's pretty cool. Uh, just looks like such a fun way to play play the game. Ah. Uh, do we want to buy a flak? Fire flak sounds fun. Fires four things. We need mm. stuff. But there's mega flak that fires eight. <gasps> I mean, the four flak also sets fire to everything. Yeah. Which is kind of fun. Fire is funny. But chain flak? Oh, it shoots quicker. Oh, oh so many different flak choices. Because we already have, like, a chain gun, and we could, like... Because chaining is good against the boss, right? Because it's a long fight. Yeah. But it's only three. I mean, how often does it chain up to? It can... It's the seven seconds. is isn't bad. Three shots every seven seconds? And how much... What about the mega flag? That's... Eight shots every... Seventeen. Seventeen. S similar. Similar ratio. Oh, the fire flax kind of the funniest. Bonk. <laughs> We've got to sell some of these guns. We've got two recycling bombs. Uh, yeah. Sell one. Those guys are free. If you load the gun onto them. We can just buy that. Mm -hmm. Buy that. Okay. Put the gun on the on the rack. Yeah, because then we can actually just arm it now. Ooh. Just, we can still put it on the rack. Got four slots. Uh, just yeah, can't use it at the moment. But we're basically set. I don't want to buy the extra power because I kind of want to go to a shop because we actually need fuel and stuff. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, we can buy fuel here. We're at a shop. Uh, no, it's a. Merchant. Oh, right, different. Okay. Not a. It's, it's the wrong kind of shop. Mm, I've actually given the wrong kind of shot. Oh, well, thanks for the heads up, Gobspite. I'll have a look at the photos of uh, Bring Out Your Lead. Sounds fun. Uh, yeah, fuck it, take a risk. <gasps> Inquisibot's gone! What happened to him? He's screaming in terror through the radio. Uh, Turn, turn that radio I off. feel like the Mantis just slowly turn that down because I don't think they care. This is becoming a Mantis ship. <laughs> it really is. Fucking <laughs> rip. Uh, oopsie. <laughs> Killed in a cutscene as well. Uh, oh, wow. Speaking of Mantis. It's all right. We have four Mantis. They're only bringing two. Idiots. Oh, shit. Oh, he, we can explodey boy him first and then run in. Oh, yeah. Roll away. Transform and roll out, rolly boy. Wow. 
to shreds, you say. Oh, I love it. The Mantis can't put fires out with their stupid hands. Oh, that's a good quantity <laughs> of fire. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Oh, they all got stunned because they ironed us. That's annoying. Oh, well. Won't take long. Uh, I'm not going to be boarding just yet. I think we're probably okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're not putting those fires out anytime soon. Uh, we're going to need more shields because these fights might end up going a little bit longer. Yeah. But... What's going to burn to death? <laughs> it's safer over here than it was Honestly, over there. Honestly, they made the right call. <laughs> oh my god, the boy. Oh my god, Zoltan. Flee. Fuck, he almost died fast. All right, now what's going to die first? The Mantis or the ship? The ship's got two hit points. Depends which way the fire spreads first. I think, uh, hopefully, I think it should kill him. Hopefully. But he can always run away, can't he? Should we beam him over there? Uh, Rip him to shreds? Oh, he's left the room. I think we've got time to get in ninja in. Oh, I'm a bit fucking. It's, they've got two. Oh, oh no, it's okay. He's on fire now. Oh shit! Yeah, he ra he'd rather explode. Yeah, fair. Oh, he might choke. But no, the the. Yeah, that will pop. There yeah. he goes. Shame. Salt drone. Oh. oh, that was a good amount of loot. That was good loot. Uh, Borban's donated again. This is TMB. On a more serious note, I'm absolutely loving Mystery Quest. Oh, I'm so glad. I know it's the very early stages, but have you considered collabs with other role players like Critical Role or Dimension Twenty, or just see how things go first? Uh, yeah, definitely want to do stuff with other people. Like, do want to do it in person though, so mm. that um, locks things down. And you have named two American things. Also kind of the biggest shows <laughs> in the world. Yeah, maybe we'll get Henry Cavill on. Yeah, let's just get uh, Henry Cavill. <laughs> uh, you know. Should we get uh, the whole cast of the D&D movie in? Yes. That'd be a great collab. That would be cool. Or let's just get the biggest A-list movie stars. Maybe like... I don't know, Tom Cruise, Ooh. Taylor Swift, she's doing her tour. She's in the country. She's in that, the country. She's already nearby. Would be great. Mm. Um, would love that. Mm -hmm. uh, if we could get Henry Cavill <laughs> as a fucking cameo, um, would be so good. Get the Dutch military in, would <gasps> yes. be fucking rad. That would be amazing. Uh, uh, didn't High Rollers get the cast for Baldur's Gate 3? They did. That mm. is airing this weekend. That's happening. Super fucking cool. Yeah, check it out. Mark Humes is DMing for the Baldur's Gate crew. Uh, Very cool. But also, they uh, they reached out to him because High Rollers has been going for years, um, mm. is real big. Uh, Mystery Quest, not quite so big and doesn't quite have the legacy. It's been going for about nine days or something <laughs> so uh, let's give it a minute <laughs> well kind of wait but do definitely want to do that um like i listen to a whole load of different podcasts and yeah i would love to reach out and get other people in um and uh explore the asteroid field sure pirates uh, but yeah 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 we'll we'll do that um but not entirely sure if uh, we'll be able to get the mega A-list just yet. <laughs> yeah, uh, we'll work our way up to it. But okay. I like your enthusiasm. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, They're then going to say today's game recommendation is One Step from Eden. Uh, which I don't recognize. Never heard of it. Never heard of that. Any more info? No more info, no. Think of that what you will. Oh, shit. <gasps> oh, so many holes. Oh, God, I think I just need to fire. Burn, fuckers. Okay, not actually terrible there. They are burning. I approve. Okay, I've got spare mantis. It's not going to be amazing at repairing, but. Better than nothing. 
I do not like this fight. No, they've got a lot of shields. And we do not. What room is actually on fire on their ship? I can't make it out. Ow. Oh, sounds like we've got a cheat. Accept. Nicholas, no, you're going to fucking die. Missile them. Run yeah. guns. Yeah, actually. I think that makes sense. Ow. Oh, fuck. Uh oh. Keep firing the ion. Uh, we can't. Oh, really? Uh, something else has to be powered for you oh, to be okay. able to fire three guns. Just because even keeping their shields low means asteroids will hit them. Yeah. Hey! Nice. Asteroid kill! Nice. Okay. Okay, yeah, we got slightly more cash out of it. Okay, we've got to get the O2 up. Our crew keep complaining about breathing for some reason. Lame? Mm -hmm. Come on, guys. It'll be fine. Just breathe less. <laughs> The room's hell? filled with air. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, Crook King Algerian, thank you for donating. You say, hi, Tom Ben. Schemes are starting to come together. Uh-oh. I would like to point out that this is at least partly your fault. Praise Frog. Uh, <laughs> 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 I am honoured to be partially responsible for this. <laughs> what the fuck is this? It's a <laughs> goblin holding a Kremlo banner. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> what does it say? It's in Latin. I'm dumb. <laughs> Not Lord. Nostra is space, right? He came from space. I assume it came from space. Because you know, Venny is came, right? Right. <laughs> it's fucking amazing. It's glorious. Nostra is not space. Astra is space. Nostra's close to being space. Uh, Nostra is night. Night, night. sky. Something like that. It's. This is how religion starts. Yeah, <laughs> you know, the apocalypse comes. In the future, someone finds that and they're like, it "Seems legit." Kremlo, he's our savior. Uh, strictly speaking, Astra is stars. Astra ah! is stars, you fucking idiot! You fucking idiot! What the hell is wrong with you? Oh my god. Do you not know Latin? Wow. Jeez. Uno reverse. Wow. <laughs> what the hell? Fucking, fucking got him. owned. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, now now you're backpedaling. Oh, I haven't taken Latin in 10 years. Well, I never took Latin. <laughs> I never fucking took Latin. Nor did Kremlo. Nor did Kremlo. <laughs> Kremlo was there before Latin. Wow. Uh... Jeez. Uh... <laughs> well, that is glorious. Cruising. I think it's fucking amazing. I, I kind of want one to look, uh... hang up in my streaming room. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, geez. I don't think I want it enough for the amount of work it would take to make. Oh my god, but, you but know, if you... it is uh, glorious. Oh, he really captured his expression. <laughs> yeah, he looks so stern. <laughs> yeah. And I love it. Good. You're going to send us one. <laughs> you need to send us two, at least. <laughs> We're two separate people! Uh, okay, we can do a shot. It is amazing. Find a flag producer in the UK. Um. What a glorious scheme. <laughs> what a lovely goblin face you have. <laughs> yeah, it was a great goblin face. <laughs> oh, I feel bad that this won't be on the YouTube. Uh, oh, shit. Do you want to find it? Oh, okay. As a special treat. Uh, what is it? It's uh, Twitch Yogscast. Imger. Oh, you're going to type it out all the way? Oh, God, yeah, like a psychopath. <laughs> well, I've committed now. A smash lowercase i, 8, lowercase h, 
one, lowercase l, maybe. Yeah. Zero, lowercase i. There's a goblin. <laughs> and there's Kremlo. Uh, he came from <laughs> It's pretty fucking good. <laughs> yeah. I can't imagine it being better. That's the best version of Kremlo Banner I could think of. Is he holding a fucking goblin pearl? Yes, of course he is. Gross. <laughs> That's why he's looking quite stern. <laughs> he's like, what is this? this is, what have I found <laughs> under your bed? <laughs> I'm disappointed. Oh. Uh, yeah. Fucking amazing. <laughs> I oh. love it. Uh, great. <sighs> You've been watching those two nuns again, haven't you? <laughs> They're called Tom and Ben! <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand. They're actually really cool. They're really cool. The Dutch military said they had good map reading skills. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You trust those guys. <laughs> the Dutch military does. <laughs> Let's get a bit of fuel. Let's get a bit of fix. Uh, this music's pretty banging. Yeah, it's pretty pretty intense. Uh, well, don't want that right now. You can stick around for a bit. Hang on, we don't need crew. Cloaking would be nice to get to at some point. Ooh, mm. augment of the day. <laughs> 13 bucks. 13 bucks, it must be shit. It's got to be a good one. <laughs> How could that not be good? Oh. Fuel conserver. Uh, uh, fuel. Okay. As long as you've got one fuel. Uh, with a sector jump. Oh, that thing's fucking basically worthless. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one fuel per area? Yeah, that gets us like eight mm. fuel throughout the game. But it only cost us three, three bucks. bucks was wasted. <laughs> right. For a bit of fun. <sighs> uh, yeah, I might just repair a tiny bit more. Give me a bit more fuel. Oh, come on, let's buy the 26 thing. Normally, you're very against the... Uh... Now I'm feeling... 26 is quite a lot. It must be really good if it's expensive. Okay. Targeting jammer. Jams the enemy targeting systems, weakening their weapons by two. This is two power fuel in the last 45 seconds. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. If we get into a jam... We need more... Wait, do we have to declare it at the start? I'm you guessing you. I'm guessing it'll give us an option to do. Okay. Well, we're not going to use that. I'd rather just have some more power. Should we sell one of our other augments so that we have, if we find a new augment, we don't. Um, uh, FTL jammer. The navig. We never use advanced navigation. Bottom one. Yeah, I was just checking money. Okay, well, we may as well buy the last one and just see what it is. If we're fucking playing the gambling game. Sure. Antivirus module. Make sure enemies hacking. Okay. If they have a hacker, we could use it. Sure. Uh, let's buy one more power. Great. Wow. We should have excess power. Um, we don't have to, come they have to turn that chain laser off. Oh, you're right. Wow, we got loads of excess power. Okay, well, we'll upgrade weapons next time. Yeah, so we could definitely do the... Um, the thing. Hail the leader. Scan them into buying missiles and blow them up. Hmm. We don't have... Oh, no, we do have missiles. Yeah, I'm not using a huge amount of them. Uh, he's drunk. Maybe we can save him. Nope. Okay. Jam their weapons. 
Sure. Okay, uses a fuel as well, which is kind of, kind of heavy. Well, that's one less gun coming at us. Ah, mantaloids. Oh, oh, before we go in, we can explode. Pop goes the boar bound. Bonk. Really poly away. Uh, can you just play funny doors and stop him breaking my gun? <laughs> He's only taking like 20% melee damage at the moment as well. That's good. Wait, where well, are you? He's going? in roly poly go, mode. Fucking go that way. What was that? Uh, we'll find out. Oh, the pulse are pulsed. It's fucked our shields and doors. Okay. As long as my weapons live. Ballbound's got a roly poly away. Ballbound. Roly poly up there. Okay. Uh, give me one of those. Give me one of those. Ooh. Oh, fuck. Oh, Zoltan's about to die. Malador, yeah. eject. Oh, shit. Oh, they fucked our gun. Okay, we might have to board them. Oh, they've Ooh. got cloning bay. But we're real low on health. We need. Why did we kill our Engi? <laughs> Their shield's down as well. Oh shit. Just got that chain laser up and running. Jerk. Um, oh. oh god. What's offline now? Fuck, what happened there? Oh, they pheromoned. Oh. Okay. God, I'm having a hard time tracking what the fuck's happening in this fight. Okay, we're gonna get into piloting. <sighs> okay. Okay, it looks like you've got them crippled. Uh, any weapons? Um, yeah, whatever. Oh no, we're about to kill our pilot because they're mind controlled. We've oh, got to run away. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, you guys go up there. You guys head down there. Oh, remember Roly Poly doesn't like to choke. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. Say the safe word. <laughs> Banana cakes! <laughs> That's the safe word, yes. We can heal up our Mantis boys who are like inches from death. Yeah. You, I think we're gonna board them. Yeah. You guys are pretty mad. Like the way in this one. And their guns are off. Uh, let's just give you a little plink. Nice. Perfect. Are you a Super Mantis? Double team that. Mantis boy. Warlord. Yeah, he is a Super Mantis. How killer are they going to be? See how much he likes to choke. Oh, no choke today. Uh, don't do that. Okay. Get him. Pheromone. Pheromone. Hob Hobber Mallow. Ooh. Plugs. Donated five bucks to ask. What is the best way to support Mystery Quest and Game Tonight to ensure you get the most money? I think they're talking about like YouTube versus Patreon splits. So, Patreon takes a, a smaller split, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's the better way. And in turn, in uh, January, mm. Patreon is changing their rules on video hosting. Oh. Um, where they're going to start charging for it, probably to bring it in line with YouTube. Right. And so I'd say wherever is easiest for you is probably the same difference. It uh, short term Patreon, but um, it's 
I th I'm pretty sure, seeing as they're charred, like changing how their uh, split's gonna work, mm -hmm. it's gonna basically be the same difference, like okay. uh, absolutely negligible, uh, real, uh, Fair. real thing. When YouTube add algorithm advantages, that's true. Um, that's so, true. It might get more visibility through YouTube. Um, but it's that stuff that is impossible for us to really, mm. really know. Um, but yeah. As for games night, I think YouTube membership is the only way at the moment. I don't think we have any other avenues open for games night. Uh, um, but you know, a donation directly through the link on um, twitch.tv <laughs> slash bedgers <laughs> is always appreciated. Ooh. <laughs> if not directly supporting <laughs> those things. Okay, right, we've got a new boy. Oh, we got a friend. Mantis Warlord. Oh, wow, we got the Warlord. He's got super pheromones. He just smells real sexy. They really, really want us to fucking do a... Do a mantis board. <laughs> we said we weren't going to do boarding. Then we got five mantis. It's just only mantis have turned up. Uh, Can you stop doing my doors in, you jerks? There we go. Uh, I'll explore. Oh, maybe one will die now. Bonk. Nope. Just got money. Nice. Uh, you can take over Rex territory. There's a sale. Ooh, cool. I like a sale. Okay, LT King has donated. Thank you very much. And they say, Tom and Ben, here are some doodles based on how Tom imagined himself in an AI-ruled world during the last stream. In other news, I'm debating on buying Angron, not for a world eater zombie, but just because he looks fun. Thank you. Um, you should do whatever you think is cool and will enjoy. Uh, let's have a look at these comics. I'll put them in the chat. Uh, and Gorius Tomicus. Oh, it's in your little human reserve, isn't it? Yay! Where the AI just leaves you to oh, your own no. things. Berry milk. Oh no, they've misunderstood. They, it's not what I want. <laughs> and the confusion <laughs> over dice. <laughs> your beard is wrapped around it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's how I lure them in. Ah. Oh. And there's the Ben. What, where they've just stuck you in a shark costume, thrown you in a tank? <laughs> With XCOM. <laughs> and then you've drowned? Okay. Perfect. I'm currently respawning. <laughs> oh, no. You spend a lot of time respawning. Very slow respawn. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you can switch back over to flak gun. Oh, yeah, great. Uh, oh, I was just gonna. Is it worth just buying the, the weapon gun upgrade. slot? Yeah, probably. Because then you can have both things armed, mm -hmm. and if one of them breaks, it isn't the end of the world. Yeah, I think you're right. Although we're gonna have to fix up soon. Yeah. Oh wow, shops. Do you wanna try and go to them? Because if we get all of them, it might unlock a ship. Oh, are they special shops? I don't know. Um, I don't want to fight them. We got a Zoltan. You can buy a Zoltan, but we're full on crew. So let's just uh, run a salvage. I already, we already did that. Okay, what happens laying a trap? Use your mine launcher. Wow, right, we don't even have to have that on the rack. Oh yeah, we literally just got that from. I did the exploration at the beginning. Oh, great, I'll do that. Two extra jumps. I mean, it's expensive for ten. For missiles. ten missiles. But now we get to visit all the shops. Which uh, we've done okay, before. Cool. yeah. Uh, Mr. Pogpeg! Uh, Mr. Pogpeg. Nine bucks. Mr. Pogpeg, thank you. You say Tom and Ben. Uh, not sure what that accent's going. Uh, Tom and Ben. Tom and Ben. I binged all of Mystery Quest. Ooh. And I got to say, it's pretty fucking great. Not going to lie. Mm. Though I do hope... All this DMing doesn't get in the way of that secret project you two have been talking about. Ah! Oh, Mr. Uh, Pogpeg. Uh, that was the secret project. Uh, that was the main main secret project. Um, but there's always, there's always, like, things. That's true. We got schemes. We got, you want schemes? <laughs> we got schemes. Um, 
Oh, big mistake. Uh -oh. Boarding my med bay. Oh, the fools. The fools deploying all mantaloids. Oopsie. Um. Uh, yours cost take over when? That oh. happened years ago. It already happened. The, uh, the real takeover was doing it without anyone realizing we'd taken over at all. Mm -hmm. See, we just sit here and pretend to be goofuses. <laughs> <laughs> yes, pretend. And argue with people about Latin. <laughs> That's when you know you're winning. <laughs> That's when you know you've done a good job. Uh, Jimmy Space donates three bucks. Need Jimmy oh, Space. Oh, Jimmy, thank you. They say, hello, Tom and Ben. Just finished my first freehand, the one in the middle. Have you painted many free hands? Oh, no, uh, I'm a bad free hand man. Uh, oh, wow, that's wow. a real nice, real nice bit of free hand. Yeah. Oh, they all look great, all your banner guys. Uh, banners are great. Mm -hmm. and that's real good. That's awesome. Yeah, no, I'm terrible. I can't even free hand with a pen, let alone a paintbrush. Uh, yeah, holy shit. Um, yeah, I just don't, I just don't do it. Nice. Well, that was great. Good work. Pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, we'll, um, we'll sort this out. You can roll out of here, TJ. Bye-bye. Good night, dude. Catch you later. Where's his base? Well, I guess he doesn't count as being on base because he isn't even stuck to a base. Oh, well, that's true. That's literally <laughs> better than having an unpainted yeah. base. Okay, wild. Mr. Pogpeg, you're the Mantis Warlord. Nice. Congratulations. What else does he do other than his stinky, stinky farts? Ooh, he takes twenty percent less damage. Pretty fucking killy. Okay, cool. Uh, Colby, uh, the next four bucks. Any Colby? Colby. And they say peasant that cleans the king's table, Tom. Oh, and peasant that is the king's table, Ben. Oh no, that's worse. So I have to, I just hose you down. Well, you know, After every feast. Tom, I got dirty again. Oh, no. I got it really, it's dried on, Tom. You've got to oh, scrub it. Oh, no. Scrub it. Lower. 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 <laughs> <laughs> How does this bit keep getting so dirty? <laughs> uh, I don't make the rules. It's the king. The king likes to drop his food down there. Oh, no. This disgusting. Uh, they say, uh, Tom, congrats on the launch of Mystery Quest. It's absolutely ace. Ah! I'm glad you're enjoying. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know why I'm saying thank you. I didn't I didn't do a mystery or a quest. Uh, but you will. Maybe. Uh, like, there's a couple, there's a whole bunch of different, like, Warhammer. Warhammer ones. I like Warhammer. Um, I want to. I want to do uh, like some of the 40k ones. Ah. Um, not entirely sure which one yet. Uh, I've always wanted to do a, a dark heresy or a rogue trader. Oh, yeah, I feel like the the dark heresy because uh, what is the new? They did a new Warhammer one. Wrath recently. and Glory. Yeah, that's Where the one. You can be whatever you want. Um, but I think doing. Um, I think like Inquisitor Inquisitor Warband is already fun. You just have a lot of freedom to do whatever you want with it. I think it's like the type of quests you can go on mm. sound you, great. And and you can mix it up so easily because you can have them come in and then have like the planetary governor be like, oh, sorry, whatever you need, unlimited resources. But then the next time he could be like, what have the Inquisition done for me? Yeah, fuck those guys. And you're like your boss, who's the real Inquisitor. He's in a different sector. Yeah, so yeah. So you're just like, well, fuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> They're not respecting my authority. They're not. <laughs> they don't like our paperwork. Okay. That's basically <laughs> all we have. So then you've got to kind of go behind the scenes and like work without all the, the support and resources. So you can, and anything in between those two extremes, you know? So it can have like completely different vibes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like really, really like that. You know, the sort of like lower scale, like kind of lower fantasy version of of the game where you're, you know, the bad guys are heretics and mutants. Is yeah, exactly. You're fighting mutants and scumbags instead of, you know, demons and space marines. Yeah, which um, I kind of like that scale. Um, like a lot. 
fucking help bombed me. Very rude. Wow, they're putting up a good struggle. Just, just come back and have a little heal. All those Xenos. You could explore a bunch of minor obscure Xenos races. I think if you're if I was playing a, a game, I'd mm. rather keep it a bit more tropey. Yeah, rather than making up your own. At uh, which stuff. stage, like I think there's games that would be better for that. Like do a Star Trek and um, have some wacky alien race that you yeah. uh, turn up and meet. I think that that looks better in that game. Because I think people aren't coming to a Warhammer video or game, to playing a Warhammer game or watching a Warhammer video to see your made up space. Yeah, aliens. like oh, it's the horse horse Yolans. Jane's here. Jane's <laughs> here. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I think like just having, you know, boom, you're in a hive city. Great. Everyone's got a vague concept of what that is. Yeah. There's these people. What row? That guy's got a third arm. Tentacles are coming. Pretty bad. Uh, people are saying use pheromones more, Ben. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting about pheromones. Um, yeah, let's just get out of there. Where's he going? Are they just going to chase me? Nice. Uh, just <laughs> killed one. If you both pop pheromones, they probably they will kill him in seconds. I'm worried about... Um, just do it. He'll be fine. ...being like the lowest health you've ever seen. Huzzah! Like, they just attack so fast. They really do, don't they? The houses. Oh, shit. I didn't realize he was, like, choking to death uh -oh. while failing to fix shit. Okay, we're actually going to have to deal with that. Uh, a DM called Dathan. Uh, did it's three bucks. Thank you, Dathan. Thank you. And they say, uh, you pull your sluggish weight into the office for another monotonous bout of belly aching about Warhammer. Your friend Tom, or Ben, just as tired as you. A computer screen glows violently. A message pushes through the hum of the light. A mystery quest? Oof. So that's an intro. Don't know if you've sold me, <laughs> I'll be honest. That's the... Uh... <laughs> Is that the vibe you were always aiming for? <laughs> that's the, uh, the definite feel. I feel like that was more a comment of this stream. Um... <laughs> yes. It is a mystery can't, quest. I can't wait for my mystery quest. <laughs> Thank you. Got tri triple beam drones. You all ready for this? Perverso. Uh, <laughs> mind control <laughs> on the guns ain't super chill. Nope. Not one bit. Have you got pheromones yet? Uh, yeah, let's pop them. Excrete, Mr. Pogpeg. You're going to need to take out the clone bay. No, it's just going to take a while to charge all the guns. Um, like, look how quickly they just murdered those guys. You might be able to take out the pilot as well now. Oh, yeah, he's just an Engi. Uh, two. It didn't actually hit the clone <laughs> Everywhere but the clone bay. Uh, but the whole ship's on fire. Which is good. It's always fun. And we'll just quickly rip those guns to shreds. Yeah, because as long as they can't take the shield down, we're fine. Yeah, exactly. The race is on. Oh, there's one down. Uh, you can put the missile into the clone bay and then maybe just bug out. Hmm. Now we got this. Set the other half of the ship on fire now. Watch out about death. See ya. Nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I think you can just sit back. Sit back and watch the world burn, I it think. It might I'm explode. Just eat myself a fucking tangerine. <laughs> uh, mantis. mantis. <laughs> watch them eight. squirm with their scissor hands. No surrender. No surrender. Uh, they're probably going to burst. The, the Engi has gone into nanobot form where he doesn't do anything, right? Oh, and he, but he doesn't burn. Yeah, I'm guessing. Son of a bitch. Or does he just burn slower? Oh, man. This is a bad, bad place to be. Oh. 
Thank you. Very nice. Uh, uh huge ass. Ooh. Uh, I think it's three bucks. The huge ass. And they say nothing. Oh. Just a lovely donation. Just huge ass. Thank you, huge ass. Oh, they cloak Tom. Oh, and they board. Uh, ooh. The guy doors can always run in and help. Uh, yeah. Then the pheromones have kicked in pretty hard. Kind of feels like I'm talking about mushrooms or something. Gross. <laughs> oh man, these pheromones have really kicked in. Oh god, like they are dying fast. Oh, and it fucking me set a thing. Uh, Can you just tag out for the other two? Nice. Wave after wave of my own mantaloids. Okay. Actually, them going back to their ship like that is maybe better. We can pick them off easier, can't we? Uh, but, yeah, clone base. I feel like on the, like, harder modes or the higher difficulties, you deal with way more clone bays than... Yeah, well, I think they know that, like, boarding is the best. You can give right, we've got the business. The business. That's one business. Uh, this is a business. And then multiple businesses. I mean, the fire's going to do shit. Yeah. Ah, you uh, motherfuckers. You oh, motherfuckers. Bring back aboard. Uh, H double B, the twice return. <gasps> They're back. Uh, the next 10 bucks in H double B. Thank you. They say, hey, Tom and Ben. Uh, the Mystery channel, channel Quest, that's not even the words. The Mystery Quest channel is amazing. Uh, although I was disappointed with the lack of Vertical 2 on the logo. Uh, die. Uh, that you love, nonetheless. Baby, don't kill me in two jumps this time if I get it. Uh, Make no promises. Yeah, geez. Although we might lose some people at some point. But we're doing okay at the moment. We're really just uh, juggling endless crew healing at this point. Um, uh, but yeah, did consider the, did genuinely consider the horizontal two on that logo, or vertical, whichever way you think it was too perverse for the mainstream dice crowd. Um, well, it was like less legible because one side is like the skull, which has like the eyes on it, right? And it looked a bit like that, and they thought more people would look at it and be like, "You've done your your dice wrong." Then be like, right. ah, I see you've gone for the right. the horizontal two, no. which is more of the uh, sort of like Eastern style of dice. People on the internet wouldn't needlessly correct about things they don't understand. No, uh, even though I haven't seen a dice in ten years, <laughs> I'm going to angrily type about. I'm this. going to type with the confidence of someone <laughs> who's certain uh, that, that they know something. And so yeah. Um, Went for the uh, diagonal because it uh, made sense. Fair enough. Um, God, these guys are. They got a lot of guns, Tom. Do you want to pick their stealth bay? I tried. I fired everything at it in the last volley and missed. But... Um, well, you're plinking their guns down. Like you're doing pretty good. We're doing something, aren't we? Uh. Right, how many mantises does it take to change an O2 box? <laughs> I'm gonna say at least three. <laughs> Just gonna grind these guys out with damage. Yeah, it's super close. Right. Um. Ah! Motherfuckers. Uh, Zishpuff one. That's the next 10 bucks, thank you, Zishpuff. Thank you. And they say, hi, Tom and Ben. Hello. As much as I'd like to leave a witty and droll message, I've always suffered from the regrettable malady of not being funny. Aww. So I shall simply wish you the very best and my thanks for making Wednesday special. Well, thank you, Zishpuff. Thank you. Um, oh, genuinely lovely. appreciate, uh, you know, a kind, kind message. 
It's very, very nice. Uh, you need to go to a fucking shop, my dude. I'm going to the Uwu land. Give me my Uwu point. All right. Um, we got no fuel and no hull. Yeah. Kind of fun. Thank you very much, Sushma. Uh, uh, cheesy dreams. Donates 12 bucks. Hey, cheesy dreams. Thank you. Uh, and they say, dirty vodgobo sneaking out of the pile uh, here to show me lord some Gaslands cars I've been painted up. Ooh. Incredibly okay. lucky that the Barbie B only took one attempt. Oh. Back to the pile for me. Huzzah. Uh, let me see. Your... Oh, it's very pretty. Oh, nice Barbie beetle. That's uh, fun. Super duper cute. And like a sort of DeLorean. Is that a DeLorean? I don't really know cars. Uh, these guys look ace. Yeah, very cool. Also, you're running that thing as a heavy truck with a harpoon and a ram, because that's a fucking rad build. <laughs> um, Just throw your enemies around. Yeah, it's really good. Um, super like that one. Mm. Uh, these guys these guys look ace. Yeah, that's Just really nice. Boardlands, so, so fun, quick and easy. Uh, not boardlands, gaslands gas to... Like put some put some minis together. We always love a um a hazard stripe. It's Bean Master again. Did you just fucking murder Bean Master? Yeah, I did. We can't get to the last Uwu shop. We can get to this one. Can you risk? We would have well, we're gonna get you fucked in one, two, three, four, four or five jumps, and it's gonna take us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to get out. Can you do the thing where you lose missiles again? No, I sold that. After I used it. Oh, shoot. Sure. Because I thought that one would be enough. Sad. Oh, but you only need four points, apparently. Said someone in chat confidently. <laughs> Try it out. Try it out. I hope they're right. Red stripes on cars increase speed, hazards increase damage. It just is true. That's true. It just is true. That's how uh, science works. Mm hmm. I don't make those rules. We didn't make it. Uh, big Neep. Then it's three bucks. Thank you, Big Neep. Thank you, Big Neep. And they say, hello, big lad Tom and average human Ben. I just moved to a new city and I'm feeling a bit homesick. Aww. Just wants to say thanks for doing what you do. Uh, as this stream is bringing some much needed comfort. Kiss hug, kiss hug, kiss hug. Oh, that's very kind. And I hope you... Settle in soon. Moving to a new place, always tricky. Yeah, always always a bit spooky. Um, yeah. You've got to sort of push yourself out of your comfort zone. Yeah. You know, do some things, meet some folks, and it will all, all be okay in the end. Yeah. Uh, like, um, I know I've said this before, mm. but it's, so, it's something I'm always glad that, like, have got some, like, nerdy activities. Yeah, that you I'm can just into. go to a club and meet some people immediately. The, I feel like if I was to move to another city, like another country, something like that, mm -hmm. I feel like my the first thing I'd do would be find a, a like a Warhammer club, a role-playing club, like mm -hmm. a Magic the Gathering thing, just whatever was yeah. nearby. Because Definitely. I feel so like... It's such an easy way to immediately just chat to like-minded people. Yeah, and it forces you into a situation where you were instantly have an icebreaker, you're already chatting to a human being. Even mm -hmm. if you don't necessarily get along with them or... You yeah. don't have to become friends immediately. But like, uh, you could just eighty percent of the awkwardness is immediately gone. Right? Yeah, and as you play your game, is mm -hmm. a great way to do that stuff. And uh, yeah, I feel like going somewhere new, um, doing that sounds great. Like, because I can't imagine it's that easy to be like, I'm really into basketball. Do you turn up to the basketball court and no idea make a friend? Maybe. Is that Maybe how it you goes? go there and you say hello. Everyone's just like, don't talk to me, you weirdo. I've got no idea. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know. Uh, but, like, nerdum seems just like such an easy, like, icebreaker. Mm -hmm. uh, where is better? Gathering Frontier? I don't know. What Uncharted are you Clouds. I, I, we don't really have. Well, actually, I did buy a lot of fuel. I don't love Nebula, so they're kind of annoying. Both. Oh! Hey! We've got a new ship. So apparently, because we've got the Ubu points, now we're going to get an option to go somewhere else instead of where we picked. It's the fucking orchid sector. 
What is this? Reroute? Yeah. I think. Hector Mega Market. Yes, that's the one. That's the Uru land. Okay. Wow, I think I would have missed that option. If they put that in blue, that reroute thing. Mm. Hector music. Welcome to the Hector Mega Market. Boo, 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 boo. To see debtors. Uh, we now owe them. Do you know that every Uru point you collect comes with a fee of 625 scrap? Yes, sir. You owe us a total of 2,500 scrap. Quite the predicament. Uh, what do I do about it? Don't worry. You get to live a painfully adequate life as a minimum wage worker. Good luck. Oh, fuck. Uh, there must be something we can do. Uh, you could ask for your debt to get cleared. Ha, ah, get real. I don't want to blast these assholes because I... Four shields looks like a lot of shields. Mm. Well, we can we can zip around and find out. Maybe there'll be a quest we can do or something. Do we want more uwu points? I have no idea. I'm going to say, sure. Let's find out. Oh, uh, excuse me. Go shopping. Not a great shop. No. Well, we'll work it out. Uh, mm -hmm. Who knows? I just want to make sure that we... Oh, chip chap cheerio, good fellow. I'm Count Dinkelman Reister von Applebuzz. Try, try the fourth at your service. I've taken a long venture to these lands to see what treasures the Hector might have on offer for me and my immense wealth. Tell me, good sir or madam, what are your opinions on the Hector? Uh, they're people into the trap. They're literally enslaving people. Well, I feel like someone that talks like this probably doesn't give a shit about enslaving people. No, right? let's say tricking. Tricking people. Good heavens, what a genius idea! Forcing people into paying off an imaginary debt by trapping them. Okay, well, this guy's a fucking knob, isn't he? <laughs> uh, just money falls out of his pockets. <laughs> Great. Can't be bothered to pick it up. Uh, okay. Um, Big Neep has donated. Thank you, Big Neep. Thank Big Neep! How, oh, no, I read that one. Thank you. Chrome has donated. He says, Bearded Woman Tom and Elephant Ben. Oh, we're at the circus. Oh. Okay. Have either of you ever been to a circus? Feels like they have died off in the last decade, and I've not seen any for a few years. I went to a circus. Hmm. Uh, one just before lockdown, and one just after lockdown. Wow. Uh, one was like a smaller circus. But these were like more, well, it's like a modern mm. circus. It was more like acrobatics. Yeah. Uh, there was some clown shit. Mm -hmm. But they did like a motorbike thing with like a little tower of people on it. Oh, wow. Um, it was actually yeah. pretty, pretty fun. Pretty cool. I think I went to one about 10 years ago and similar thing. Um, yeah, no animals or. Um... Actually, I think they had a dog, but like it was like someone doing like dog ballroom dancing. <laughs> which is pretty fucking good. <laughs> well. Um uh, hmm. But yeah, like they were both um quite like like artsy mm. ones, um a bit more. Yeah, I think that's probably better. I guess all the uh, the other ones got shut down for being way too sketchy and well, uh, cruelty, right? Like horrific animal cruelty, mm. it's not quite as chill. Uh, and they say, as such, where should kids run away to now in this day and age? Oh yeah, oh, where do kids run into the to? darkest cracks of the internet? I think. Oh. Uh, if you've alienated everyone in real life and you need to start again, just become some kind of like radicalized keyboard warrior. Oh, uh, yeah, just get really into flat earth or something. <laughs> yeah. Seems to be the, the usual route these days for 
alienated youth. Um, okay. Yeah. It's like the circus, but, you know, less healthy. We're on the way to the Ren Fair. We don't really have Ren Fairs here. Hmm. Yeah, there's not No, not streaming, Kruk King Kaldurian. Streaming is full. <laughs> the door <laughs> shut off for us. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot handle the competition. Uh, modular missile? Do you want a missile that fires... Fire stuff? Missile? 100% fire chance? Pretty fucking good, actually. I don't know if I care. Uh, Mario has donated. <laughs> wow, the Mario. The Mario. What the hell? Oh. That's, well, that's what he says. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, no, it's, he's voiced by Bob Hoskins, isn't he? Oh, it's me. Bob fucking Hoskins. Bob fucking Hoskins. I had to grow a mustache for this. Uh, very, very true. Mm. And he says, Hello. What do you think of Age of Sigmar Dominion selling for £80 in my local shop? Is this normal? I know nothing about Age of Sigmar, but this seems like the best value GW box I've ever seen. Uh, what is Age of Sigmar Dominion? Is that a computer game? Or the no, that's the starter box from about a year or two ago where it had um, the oh, chunky Stormguard and the cool the, boy. The orcs. orcs. For 80 bucks. Yeah, that seems like a good deal. Well, considering it's £80 for less than half of the orcs. In just the orcs. the orcs. Yeah, that seems seems pretty pretty solid. I think they, they had a run of like shit that ran, that outsold immediately, and so they overproduced um, Dominion. And there's a lot of spare copies going right. around. Like, yes, your local okay. store is trying to clear out stock because that's far cheaper than the like, recommended retail price. So yeah, if you want those models, that's a great deal. Um, much cheaper than buying them separately, for sure. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, I only get it if you like the like the minis. Crook hmm. uh, and Kaldurian donates again and says, Hi, Tom Ben. Because I'm a big dum-dum uh, with fever, I forgot to shout out who did the Kremlo commission for me. It was Sasha at... Chris Hassart. Chris Hassart on Fiverr. Although it probably did cost more, lol. Inspiration was a Saint icon. She nailed the design on the first go. Well, there you go. Beautiful Kremlo work. Very cool. Very pretty. Thank you, Chris Hassart on Fiverr. Why did they so fight the Zoltan rather than the people keeping me trapped here? Because I thought the they might take some money off my debt. Oh, shit, you're playing into their game. And I just want to kill, and so... <laughs> that was the kill option. Yeah. Uh... And I don't want a bigger debt. No. Oh, you don't oh, like that no. room at all. Banana cake! Uh, Chrome has donated. I oh know. I read that one. Thank you, Chrome. Um, Neural Quartz has donated again, and says Bodge Ten. Any good chapter painting plus heraldry guides? I went in a little blind with my Dark Angels and eventually just decided to do my own thing. Once uh, I got confused. Also, is it me or are Dark Angels especially confusing with paints and transfers? They are. They're the most Space Marines only have like one color scheme for their entire army. Dark Angels have three different color schemes, depending on which units you're talking about. Um, and all their iconography has no consistency. Um, they just have various esoteric symbols that mean mysterious things and doesn't really explain what goes where and who gets what. So, um, tricky. Uh. Your best bet is to grab Dark Angels Codex or just go to like... Um, uh, like Lexicanum. Mm. That'll give you all, everything you need. It's like the good Warhammer wiki. But yeah, uh, for good guides. Do them uh, any way you like. The internet has got you covered. Um, 
That's a lot of fucking lasers. Wow, that's just all the, all the pew pews. Burn them all. Oh, you ah, fucking holes. Fuck. We need like an anti cloak device. Yeah. We've read all of our lovely messages. Nice. Thank you very Very good. Now you can have dessert. Oh, pudding. I am hungry actually. Definitely go for some pudding. I don't like that they have a second gun. Wow. We've got to hit the cloak, I think. Does it cool down at the same time as our gun? No, it doesn't. Thank fuck. Oh, we got it. We got it that time. <sighs> oh, this feels bad. Ooh, did not kill us. Light them up. Except that surrender. Capitalism has failed me! <laughs> I shall now forever be communist! Okay. Uh, <laughs> nope. You shall die a communist. Take that. Better dead than red. Death is preferable. <sighs> uh, right, I'm just going to buy a shield upgrade. Cool. So we're taking a few hits. Yeah, we're getting dinged up. Good call. Cool. Uh, hail the orchids. Is it the power plant? Sure. Uh, it's got Tesla coils. They don't seem too receptive. The orchids are telling them for being lame and they should breathe oxygen. Sounds like the orchids are being dicks. Help out the facility or attack the facility. Let's attack the orchids. But it's feeding off a storm. I think the... I feel like the orchids are being racist. Who cares about the stupid whale? I want to save the whale, but I'm confused. I think the facility is helping the whale, and the orchids are pricks. Kill the orchids? Yeah. Bonk. Uh, what is this music? Pretty fucking jazzy is what this music is, Ben. Should we board them up? Yeah, I think I need to. Because we are tight on power. Deploy sex smells. Oh, Ben is missing the point completely as usual. Nope. I don't think so. I don't think that's what's happening at all. Take the power plot. Damn, you just killed those guys, ha! Uh, we got a free reactor upgrade. Makes up for the extremely needless, brutal actions. Are we the bad guys? No, we saved the whale. Did we? Yes. That's how I interpret it. Mm-hmm. We saved the whale. Uh, whales breathe air like a- Whales breathe air. And the orchids were like, you guys suck because you don't breathe air. It was something like that. It was something like that. I'm pretty, pretty sure. sure. Uh, cool. uh, go shopping. Instructions are unclear. We did gain the reactor energy. Yeah. Uh, so Seems pretty sure it all worked out for the best. Uh, 
crew do extra damage in combat. Pretty good. Uh, okay, don't super need... Need anything here. I feel like we're not very shooty. No. I worry that we're not going to make it. Yeah, we do just need a bigger, better gun. Like when we hit the four, like four shield things, we're mm. gonna be in trouble. Looks like we're not getting the special Uru quest. Maybe it'll turn up right at the end. Oh yeah. And we're gonna just have to fight a big thing to get out of here. You jerk-offs. He'll be fine. They've got a med bay. I don't know if I want to board. Just yet. Hmm. We didn't dodge it this time, at least. Not super bad. Something caught fire and burnt. Mm. So that's good. Good, good. Their weapons are... Oh, shit, there's a timer. Something happens in 2.5 seconds. That's um their guns being offline. Oh, OK, cool. OK. So now their other gun is armed. Yeah, that took the edge off. Hey. Uh, We've only got two health left. Should be easy enough to finish him if you want to. Yeah. Crunch. Capitalism did not save you. I wasn't paid enough to say something clever. Uh, great. Yeah, that's my excuse, too. <laughs> I'm not paid enough to say something clever. Ask to trade a pirate station. Could attack them. They've got a big iron boy. Maybe not. Yeah. Uh, buy fuel. Yeah. Well, sense. maybe. Maybe fuel. I don't think we really need the missiles. We're not using that many. Sure. I'll take the fuel because we are using fuel every time we do the, um, the jamming. Yeah. Yeah, does that up. Stress beacon. Ooh. Sure, it's the blue option. Blue is always good. We've got a new friend. It's like a little lizard man. Ooh. Is his name Cuntunk? <laughs> Cuntunk. Cuntunk. <laughs> Who's getting fired for Cuntunk? <laughs> Cuntunk. <laughs> He's tree lizard thing. Tree lizard thing. <laughs> Primitive lizard transformed into an underpaid sweatshop worker for Hectar Industries. He has 20% extra health. He does 20% extra combat damage. He does 20% slower repairs. He regenerates on his own. He learns skills slower, but combat and repair skills faster. Okay. I kind of love him. Yeah. Who's bad? Right, we need you. We need you. Ballbound's kind of a shield guy. I think it's one of the... It's one of the mantis. One it? of the hanger on a mantis that haven't had a real it's job. It's not Neural Quartz or Pogpeg. Because they are the killers. Yeah. Um, so hang on. LT King is a standard mantis, but Gobspite is a free mantis? But we already have free mantis. Oh, yeah. I'm kind of thinking fucking Gobspite is getting... Yep. Seems fair. I'm sorry, Gobspite. But we had to make space for Kuntunk. <laughs> Hang on, who's our engines guy? Did we just fire up engine man? Who's generic Yogs fan? We did fire our engines. <laughs> oh, fuck. Just the worst. <laughs> we didn't even look at generic. Generic Yogs fan. 
You're the new engines guy. Shit. Uh, oopsie poopsie. But let's not worry about that. Because now we've got Cuntunk. Because now we've got Cuntunk. Look at him go. Whee! He's wriggling. He's a tree lizard thing. <laughs> Everyone loves him. I love him. I love him too. He's the best. <laughs> Thank you, Cuntunk. You've made this playthrough better. He came from space. <laughs> he did come from space. <laughs> Uh, approach, or... Oh, save us, Kuntunk. No idea what that sector was. That doesn't look like a Tom problem. Uh... Guess we can Offering with free it. refueling? Sure. <laughs> There's no way this goes wrong. <laughs> Wait. Uh... Sorry, you can't leave. You appear to be in debt. The free discount this fuel has been rendered void. Uh, all oh. of my scrap. No. All of the scrap. Hell no. Now we get to fight them. Uh, yeah, we'll do the jam. Oh, shit, they got a hacker. We could have done the anti-hack. Yeah, but they'll probably hack something stupid. They might hack Kuntuck. They... That better fucking not hack Cuntunk. <laughs> I think deploy deploy the boys. The quicker we beam over, the quicker we can beam over wave two. She's where Cuntunk is. You're right. Oh god. They've got do they have a Cuntunk of their own? <gasps> they do! What the hell? Okay, there, they're hanging around O2. Oh. It's never gonna we, come. No up. one needs that. We'll just go breathe their air. Yeah. Oh, he's in a box. Oh shit. He went in a cardboard box. All right, we'll just miss all that. It'll be fine. Okay, air's getting a little bit, a little bit thin. Well, there's literally nothing we can do about that. Oh fuck. Oh wow, it's reinforced. That's all right. We have enough firepower to bust through, I think. Should we set fire to their shield room? No, we're good. Uh, we're almost ready to board. Wow. What the fuck is going Someone on in there? Glitching. Pogpeg is glitching his balls off. He can't kill the cardboard box. He doesn't understand it. Oh, Neural Quartz is sad too. Nope. <laughs> Get him, Kuntuck. Why do they everyone keep going in boxes? What's with all the boxes? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't like it. I'm scared. I'm confused. <laughs> Let's just destroy their O2. Then we definitely win. Uh... What is this? Something's glitching. Oh, Kuntuk's healing. Okay, right, we actually do need to break weapons now. We've got to get into med bay with those boys before it's too late. Uh, can do that. And actually, a power med bay too. Okay, great. All they have is a uh, laser. Great. Hmm. Yeah, the, our guys definitely don't understand how to fight boxes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's true. <laughs> do, 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 do. Hold slow, they hide in the box. Oh, wait, we killed them. They just take less damage. Ah. Okay, so let's oh, send wave fuck. two over. Wait, uh, can we just drop that? Oh. Nice. Uh, great. Hmm. Didn't have to pay for our fuel. Nice. It was a good day, and Kuntunk did very good. He did great. He was there. He was there. We <laughs> could all agree. <laughs> we saw it. It wouldn't have happened exactly the same without Kuntunk. 
Check it out. Oh, free Come on toys. In. New line of toys. Uh, let's try the Mantis one. <laughs> Mantis crew. Offer your feedback. The toy squeaks and spits out, kill all living things. It's okay. Mantis are just like that. It's not offensive if it's true. Okay, Mantis, what do you say? <laughs> Your Mantis crew explains their opinions on the toy. The Sug thoughtfully contemplates this advice and seems grateful. Thank you so much for your input. Have these. Well, that right. exchange went very amicably. Very good. Uh, right, i got to get the fuck out of here. Uh, you'll stop before you can leave mm. by a massive Hectar vessel. Sorry, but you may not leave this sector. You still owe Hectar Industries a lot of money. Right. Maybe we have to fight our way out. Easy. Uh, We've got 23 fuel now. That's a lot of fuel. Uh, jam the weapons. Yes. They might board us, but it's honestly not the end of the world. Uh, we are one shield down. We'll have to reroute some power. I can get our shields back up. Oh, well, we don't get the unique ship for going to Uwu land, because the quest wasn't there. Oh, they're in that room. Great. You guys man the doors. We might be able Fill to on the buttons. Uh, we can maybe board them. Yeah, if they've sent their best crew over. God, we can kill so fast with those pheromones. It's unreal. That's Whoa, the lasers, my that's boy. Why is that? I don't oh. know. Feels bad. Oh. Ow. God, they've got another Kuntuk to board us. Sorry, right, we can redeploy our Kuntuk to, to counter their Kuntuk. Nice. Guns are on fire. Very good. Oofa. It's not, like, not a me problem right now. Uh, I need them. That to die. Okay, so we're going to do shield attack. Our weapons are charged. <laughs> oh no, we're stunned. Oh shit, because we ironed them. Oh, shit. I ironed their shield. You could beam out. Oh god, medbay's on fire. I think we might have to beam out. Yeah, I think we do. It's okay, contact put the fire out. He's a good boy. Our doors are busted. Got a gun back. It's not the end of the world. Hmm. At least it seems like they're pretty on fire. Oh, yeah, I think they're completely crippled. Okay. Um, well, we don't have to worry about that. Are you okay, Shell, Shell Lord? Okay. Kuntuk, do you like flames? Ooh. Fires and doors. Oh, we're going to lose a boy. No, that's a dead room. Shit. Get it, get out. Get out. Oh, no. No, that's a dead room, too. We need to go left. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, we need to deploy our not scissor crew on the flames, like our human and our roly boy, I think. Oh, yeah, you're right. Because no one else can put it out fast enough. Did someone die? Not yet. What was that noise? Should we blast them? Uh, I was kind of wait, waiting to see if they would burn. Oh, OK. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, their guns are out, so may as well. Oh, god. <laughs> Mantis do not make good firefighters, do they? No. 
Oh, God, we've got to get that boy out. Neural quartz, please, Liv. Will they make it? I might even. Oh, yeah. Him. Give him speed boost. Good plan. <laughs> Human. I don't think drip feeding in, man. Let's just fix the doors and then put the fire out with door power. <laughs> that might be easier. Just everything's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> we just fix the doors and gas everything. Yeah. I think, I think we'll be all right. Oh, good old Kuntuck. Oh, no! God. That's old Tan's nearly dead. Yes, Fine. okay. Doors are back online. Hey! hey! All their crew burned to death. Amazing. Sweet. Uh, that was a good payday. Whew. Yeah, that was great payout. And no one died. The cameras are burning. Yeah, that's right. They'll um, they'll empty out soon. Okay, it sounds like everything is. Yeah, I think we got it. Gone out. Just give it a minute. Okay, I do want Kuntuk to get a bit better at repairing. Hey, we've got to achieve every square of their ships on fire. Nice. Very good at games. Mm. Amazing. We did it. We, we survived. The particle beam, it does Two power. damage fire. It's long. No damage to hull. But it cripples systems and fires. It's okay. It's worth a lot. Mm. Which is good. Good payout. But not uh, super killy. Well, good microing, man. We could have easily lost like half our crew to that. Yeah, you know, little sloppy, but kind of got that. Mm. All right, everyone go home. Kuntuck, you don't work in the engines. <laughs> I like the engines. No, you're bad at engines. <laughs> Look, Lieutenant King, you're kind of... Do we know we've got someone who's slightly better than that, haven't we? I don't think so. Generic Yogg's fan. Oh, no. Uh, Shit. No, someone fired the good engineer because oh, no. they were so excited by Kuntuck turning up. <laughs> He's very excited. It was a pretty big day. <laughs> I remember the day Kuntuck turned up. <laughs> yeah, it was the best day. <laughs> yeah. uh, neat. Engi Harmony. Okay, are we peaceful? Wave our Zoltan around. No mantis here. Oh. Only Zoltans. They did not care about <laughs> about that. Mm. Uh, sweet. Should we? Um, is this a good place to stop? For, save it here for next time. Uh, yeah, yeah. If you want Six. to. Yeah, we've got three sectors to go. So we're like just over halfway. Nice. Because um, I'm hungry. Yeah. No. If that makes sense. Um, but yeah, pal, we're going to wrap it up um, and we'll continue this next week yeah. uh, with Kuntuk, everyone's best friend. He's everyone's best friend. Look at him. Weird Cyclops lizard. He's got pink hair. No, he's got two eyes. No. Oh, is it he's inverted? Got a pupil. Oh, Black one pupil big eye. Oh, I love him eye. even more now. Yes. He's got like the Oxyotl. Yeah. He's beautiful. He's such a good boy. He's beautiful. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, it seems like a time to wrap it up. Thank you very much to everyone who's watched, everyone's donated, mm, uh, everyone who's hung out and chatted. Um, yes. Have you all had uh, just a ton of fun? Um, and we will be back next week. Hooray! Huzzah! Uh, so um, come and check us out. I'll Thank be back you. tomorrow at two with Harry, where we're going to carry on playing Pokemon Rimworld. Nice. Uh, but my own stream that's normally in the evening on Thursday, I will not be doing this week, sadly. Oh, heck. We'll be back next week. We're playing Battle Brothers. Ooh. It's good fun. Toby Jug Battle Simulator. Toby Jug Wars. Love it. Uh, pal. Well, uh, we will see you next time. Hooray. See you next time. Goodbye. Bye, 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 b